Welcome, welcome, welcome back to some shiny hunting right here in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And today we are on the journey of fulfilling our Pokedex when it comes to shiny Paradox Pokemon. We already caught two of the shiny Paradox Pokemon last time, which was, as you can see right there, the shiny Volcarona was the last shiny that we caught on stream. And the one that we caught first was the um, great task in the cave right there. And talking about that cave, I want to go right into that cave again. But this time we are hunting a different Pokemon. This time we are hunting Fluttermane. And I was talking about this in my last stream. There is somewhat of a very, very interesting strategy when it comes to Fluttermane. You can create a sandwich that will boost your shiny odds for ghost Pokemon and also encounter rates for, both, for ghost Pokemon. And when you have these odds increased and you go in there during daytime, you will not see any ghosts, even though it is, you know, boosting the ghost uh, spawns. But what you will see is a shiny ghost. So that means it is not really daytime right now. Is it daytime? It looks somewhat like it is about to to be daytime. It was just night. The sun is coming up over there. All right, I take that as a sign that it is day daytime. We're gonna throw out a picnic. There is a new strategy on sandwiches because I don't have any salty Herba Mysticas anymore, but you can create your uh, sandwiches with different things. You just need other ingredients. Just look at the two shinies right here. Mulcarona, which is the Slitherwing, and then we have the Great Task, which is Donphan. Really, really like these two. Um, we're gonna make a sandwich right here. We're gonna jump right into it and my wife already tested out this strategy You can see her in the chat right now. I got two shiny flutter mains from this strategy. This is very very interesting because Not only do you only see the shiny Pokemon the shiny ghosts, but you can also kind of Make the game spawn more Spawn more than just one shiny very very fast so what we want to do for the sandwiches, um, we want to put down tomatoes, onion, we also want pepper as well as a hamburger. Those are the four main ingredients we need for all of the, you know, level three sandwiches. And then for the ghost type, we need red onion. Two times red onion. I think red onion is up here. One, two. Now we're gonna go to, we don't really need any of the uh, sauces right here. We're gonna just... How do I skip that again? Or do I have to go down here too? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. We need two Herba Mysticas and we're gonna go with a spicy and a bitter one. We're just gonna mix it up right here. We're gonna click on next. Gonna put the red black pick right onto it. And there you go. Let's go. Kleiner, nice to see you in the chat. We have Ghost Quarterback, Shiny Pikachu, my wife. We have Saya here. We have uh, Boomers. We have... Um, Shiny Pikachu, happy pick. Nice to see you all. Let's do it right away. We're gonna start with the tomatoes. If I can grab them. There we go. One. Gonna make this very quick. But the thing is, you also have to actually have most of the ingredients on your sandwich. Because we have tried this method. And some of the ingredients were falling off of our sandwich. And it was kind of like not making it work. So I'm gonna have this side right here filled with the onions. The green pepper is gonna go on the left side. And in the middle, you already guessed it, the hamburger. There we go. Does look nice. We need the red onions now. I'm gonna try to... Oh, that's gonna be difficult. We're gonna put them up here. We want to have two on the side. Two on top and two on this side. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's make it work. Oh! Yes, perfect sandwich. That is, I would already say, a tasty Grizzly original. <laughs> and this, again, it should boost our chances for everything that is ghost related that we need for shiny hunting to level 3. Which means sparkling power level 3, as well as encounter power and title power to level 3 for ghost types. Let's see if it worked. Put more onions on. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see if it worked. We seem to be very, very happy, very excited about it. Uh, purple, nice to see you in the chat. A tasty Grizzly original. Sparkling power and counter power and title power for Ghost. Level 3. It is now officially daytime out here. We have to end our picnic. We have 
30 minutes to encounter. There we go. The countdown is starting now. We have 30 minutes to get the shiny flood domain. And I'm pretty sure, pretty, pretty sure we will be successful with this. Because again, as soon as we see one Pokemon spawn, as soon as we see one single Pokemon spawn, it will be a shiny. Have to remind you again, it is daytime. Ghost Pokemon usually do not spawn during daytime. But it seems like shiny Pokemon are not time locked. That means shiny ghost type Pokemon also spawn during the daytime. So now we are in the cave, as you can see, not a single Pokemon. As soon as we see a Pokemon somewhere, it's gonna be the shiny Flutter main. The entire cave, empty. This is like the cave before the time machine was invented because, you know, not a single Pokemon is in the cave yet. Super, super interesting strategy. Maybe I shouldn't run. Maybe I should give the Pokemon more time to spawn in too. So we're just gonna walk normally. Gonna look around. Again, an entire empty cave. Um, I went completely down to the bottom, like flying down to the bottom. I mean, basically here is where all the Pokemon would spawn. So we can just go up and down and find it eventually. Turn around and go down to the bottom. I mean, it's, it's all spawn territory for the Flutter main. I'm telling you right now, I'm jumping down. And I'm gonna see it spawn behind me and disappear. We are landing on the crystal. Oh, I can actually open up the flying option again if you're falling down for too long. Alright, there you go. It can be everywhere. It can be anywhere and everywhere. In this cave. We're gonna start from the bottom. We're just gonna walk around here a little bit. And as soon as we have explored the entire cave... I mean, at the end of the day, you could just... Circle around in this area right here. And try to reset the spawns by doing circles. But I think I might go a few different routes. Just going up and down. Just going around in the cave. Just really trying to find it. There is... Is that an entrance right there? That's a little... No, that's just a stone. It's so... No, it is an entrance. Alright. I take it. What are we finding? A heal ball. There's an entire cave. Super exclusive. Super, super exclusive right here. Just giving you a little bit of a heal ball. I take it. Alright. I was walking down and up the whole cave and it appeared... Uh, yeah, as I said, like, it should be spawn territory for the Flutter main in the entire cave. But walking down here, it's just a huge field for the Flutter mains to spawn. For one Flutter main to spawn, right? It's a huge area for that one shiny one to spawn. I don't want to run. I feel like if I'm running, I'm gonna miss it. This is probably one of the easiest shiny hunting methods because you can't really miss it. Like, yes, you could pass it and it could maybe spawn behind you. That's why I'm not running. But overall, if you see one Pokemon, you already know it's gonna be shiny. Literally, one Pokemon, guaranteed shiny. Okay, we're gonna go up and down a little bit. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If you guys have been shiny hunting lately, let me know in the comments right now which shiny you have been catching or which shiny you are trying to catch. We are currently trying to get Flutter Main. After we um, got Flutter Main for our Pokedex in shiny, we're gonna go for Roaring Moon, which is Ancient Salamence, because that is one of the more special Pokemon when it comes to the Ancient Paradox Pokemon. I caught 81 Pokemon today in Pokemon Go. Let's go. That's awesome. Where am I? This seems so... Like, this seems like an entirely different... Can I climb here? Okay, interesting. I have no idea what that, what that cave is supposed to be. 
We just need one Pokemon to spawn. It almost looks like we broke the game because there's no, not a single Pokemon spawning. Welcome to Pokemon Scarlet, but without Pokemon. With on basically with only shiny Pokemon. I hope you find the Flutter main soon. Thank you so much. I hope so too. I mean, again, it is going to be one shiny and one shiny only that is going to spawn. Well, not, not only, but it's not going to be a different Pokemon. I really like this area right here. It would be absolutely fantastic if we would have a shiny feather main spawn right here, right in front of us. I don't know why, I just like this area. Okay, nothing yet. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go up. Shiny Flutter Mane is what we are looking for. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ant Ninja, nice to see you in the chat. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are currently hunting for the ancient Mistrevis, which is the Flutter Mane Paradox Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And we are using a method which is kind of only letting us spawn the ancient flutter main super super cool strategy so far we haven't seen a single pokemon yet which is a good thing because we know it works we know it works we know it's it, um singles out only ghost pokemon and since it is daytime not a single pokemon is spawning Not a single Pokemon is spawning. Come on, Flattermane. I know you want to be green and shiny. At least, again, the good thing is that we are not having to check the Pokemon at all. Like, literally, you don't have to check a single Pokemon. Because if you see it, immediately shiny. You know it. You already know it. We just have to be lucky and trigger the spawn for the shiny one. This is also a really, really good open area to potentially spawn one. That would be so cool. If it would just pop in right up if it would just pop up right in front of us. Okay, we're gonna go in circles. Are you doing full odds? No, I'm actually not doing full odds, no. Um, we have a level 3 sparkling boost for ghost Pokemon, a level 3 encounter boost for ghost Pokemon. Which means we are having 1 in 1024. I'm not in possession of the shiny charm yet. But with the level 3... Sparkling boost. We have a 1 in 1024 chance to get the shiny Flutter main right here. And we are shiny hunting ghost Pokemon right now in the cave right here. And by boosting the ghost type spawns during daytime, not a single ghost Pokemon will spawn. I have a higher encounter rate for ghost Pokemon on right now. Let me show it to you. My sparkling power is ghost, uh, titan power and encountering power is ghost level 3. So that means all the Pokemon that we are seeing right now are ghosts. Since we are doing this during daytime, in-game daytime, not a single Pokemon will spawn. Because ghost type Pokemon only spawn during the night. Now, with shiny Pokemon it's different. Shiny Pokemon are not daytime locked. So that means shiny ghost type Pokemon can spawn during the daytime. What that means for us right here is that we don't see any Pokemon because we only see ghost Pokemon. But if we see a Pokemon, if there is a Pokemon spawn, it's gonna be a shiny. It's gonna be a guaranteed shiny. And that makes it very very easy because now as soon as we see something walk around, as soon as we see one Pokemon, 
doesn't matter which Pokemon we see, it's gonna be shiny. And with that being said, the only ghost type Pokemon in this cave, at least I believe so, are Flatamanes, which is the ancient and dream, uh, mischievous. So we are basically singling out that one shiny mischievous that we are looking for that should spawn eventually in this cave. Hopefully right in front of us. Hopefully very soon. So again, um, shiny odds 1 in 1024. But at the same time, we boosted up our shiny odds to 1 in 1. We literally... Oh, I've never seen that. That is so cool. Um, we literally boosted our shiny odds to 1 in 1. Which means... The one Pokemon that we will find is shiny. The only thing that we are not boosting is the spawns. Right? Like it's still we we are not seeing any Pokemon right here. For the past 10 minutes we have been walking up and down. There was not a single Pokemon. Again, if we see a Pokemon it is shiny. But it's not like we're going to see hundreds sh hundreds of shinies. Just have to be patient. And we have to explore the cave. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, it's so hard to find. Uh, nice. Did you finish the shiny hunt for Arceus? I did not finish the shiny hunt for Arceus. I am just playing way, way more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right now. Mainly Scarlet. Because it is the new game. Uh, really, really enjoying it. Just trying out the new shiny hunting methods. Just, uh, you know, getting to know the game and getting to understand the game. I'm really, really enjoying it, but I will eventually go back to Pokemon Legends Arceus because I have, I don't know how many, around 40, I think I have around 40 shiny Pokemon in there. So there is still a lot of room for me to shiny hunt in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Again, Legends Arceus was basically the first game that I have been playing to shiny hunt. But I started it like shortly before Scarlet and Violet came out. So obviously... I still have the potential to go back to that game and shiny hunt more in Arceus. I really, really enjoy the game, so I definitely will do it. But for now, we are playing Scarlet and Violet. I might be jumping down again, or I might just walk down. Just give it a few more... ...seconds until I will turn around. Okay, we see the entrance of the cave. We're gonna go back. Everywhere in this cave, we could have a spawn happening. Everywhere and anywhere. My wife said she found hers uh, at the very bottom of the of the cave. So I think I will just walk down. And just do a few circles down there. To potentially trigger that one shiny that we are looking for. Um, Pokemon go with hearts, man. It has to be shiny. That means it has to be shiny, yes. It definitely means it has to be shiny. 40, yes, I have 40 shinies in Arceus. It is, it is a start. Again, I haven't been shiny hunting before. Never did the shiny hunting uh, in games. But I really, really enjoyed with the newer games being released. Your odds are just way, way higher. I think I wouldn't live stream shiny hunting if I would have the odds of 1 in 8,000. The older games have shiny odds with 1 in 8,000, maybe 1 in 4,000. And it requires you to shiny hunt one Pokemon for days, weeks, even, or months. And I think I am not patient enough for that. Shiny hunting for a Pokemon for a couple of hours, I'm okay with that. Maybe even for, you know, a day, I'm okay with that. But everything beyond that, it's, it's very, very tough for me to say, okay, I'm gonna do that for... 7 days, 14 days, a month, and really spend so much time just to get one shiny Pokemon. So they made it more accessible. The shiny hunting uh, is more accessible to a lot of players now because it is rewarding you a little bit quicker. Meanwhile, I'm trying to find that one shiny Flutter right here. In uh, what I could else only describe as a ghost town. This is literally a ghost town. But not in a good way. We don't see any ghosts. 
But I mean, it is in a good way. But we want to see that one shiny ghost. That one shiny Misdreavus. Okay, we're gonna stay down here right now and just circle around a little bit. See if we can find it. Cookie, nice to see you. I've been shiny. Uh, I've been shiny hunting alphas. That is awesome. What were the latest shiny uh, alphas that you were catching? I think I only have two, and these two are super cool, though. I have a shiny Duskull, which was my first ever shiny alpha, and I have a shiny Abra, which I was super super excited about because Abra is a super cool Pokemon, and then having it in shiny and alpha. Yeah, super happy about that. We are just making our way through the cave. I could potentially even just go back and forth in this huge spot right here. Like just walking back and forth right here. Should reset a lot of Pokemon that usually spawn here and therefore give me the chance to see the shiny Flutter main at some point. I'm gonna try that. I'm just gonna go back and forth. The water noise? While I'm running through the water is kind of like a little bit annoying though. Maybe I can actually um, go in front of the of the cave where we have no water. Let me actually do that. Hmm. Actually, there's not a lot of room with no water. I could just follow this little path. Got an... An L, a large candy? Not too bad. Where am I even? Where is the, like, entrance to the main building? Huh? Try to stay in one area. The game should try to let Pokemon spawn, so it should be a, a shiny soon. You mean just staying here and looking around? Kind of like forcing it to come to me. That would be funny. I got two Randy Shinems, uh, Shinies in a day in today in Wild Rome, and that's awesome. You mean just standing here and making it force? That's kind of the strategy that we used to, or that my wife used to get her her second shiny. Okay, maybe I'm gonna go. I I want this area. I don't like too much. I don't know why. I just don't like it too much. I want to go in front of the big crystal. Where's the entrance? Here's where we found Coridon. I'm a little bit confused about the cave right now. Instead of looking for it, we are forcing it to come to us. Why am I so confused about this cave right now? I think I will never get out of it again. This is it. We are stuck in the cave. This is our life now. Are you? Yes. Where? Okay, I'm trying to find the entrance to the time machine. That's where I'm trying to go. I just... Just so confused. Gonna try to get a better overview. Okay, so that seems to be the building, right? This one seems to be the building. There it is. That's where I want to be. Thank you. Why, why was I not able to find that? Stay in one area. The game will try to spawn Pokemon. So the game will just con constantly try to spawn Pokemon. And since it can't give me any ghost Pokemon, it eventually will give me the one shiny ghost Pokemon. Is that what you're saying? I'm gonna try that and drink something real quick and read the chat a little bit. Um, wait, wait. I've been trying spheres and I finally got it. You got a, a, a sphere? That is super cool. The spheres look super funny. I still haven't gotten a sphere yet. I have the evolution of Sphere, like the second one. 
That's what I read in the video about the strategy. Uh, that was what I thought here too. I thought it was stuck there forever. This is a super weird cave. Okay, I'm... I feel like I would rather run around. Like, I understand that it's trying to spawn in the, the Pokemons. Like, that sounds very, very logical. But I kind of want to walk around. I want to go up and down. I want to, to go up and down. Try to find it by walking up and down. Well, maybe at least go, maybe I can uh, go to a better spot where spawns are more visible for me. Like the one area that I really, really like where you have this one platform. I only ever saw them at the bottom. I mean, I definitely saw videos where people were finding them somewhere else, like around here. I'm trying to figure out a really, really good spot where you could just sit and wait. And have them kind of come to you. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna walk around a little bit though. I know I just found my way to the entrance that I wanted to find. But we are going to walk around a little bit. Any shines today? Uh, Flamingo, nice to see you. No, not yet. We are currently searching for the Flutter Main, which is the Ancient Mistrevis in green. And we have a sandwich that boosts ghost type encounters and ghost type shiny chances. And with that being said, it is daytime right now. And that means ghost type Pokemon will not spawn. So therefore, all Pokemon that we will see right now will be shiny. Literally a one in one chance to get a shiny right here. Because shiny Pokemon, even when they're ghosts, even if they're ghosts, they are not daytime locked. That means shiny Pokemon can easily spawn during daytime. We just have to be lucky. Just have to find it. It's the one shiny in this cave that we want to find. But sometimes you're just not lucky within the 30 minutes, right? Like it's still a 1 in 1024 chance to get a shiny Pokemon. And sometimes you're just not lucky. Sometimes it, it needs a little bit longer than 30 minutes. Sometimes, for example, the Donphan, the ancient Great Tusk. I was finding that one in 10 minutes. But then at the same time, for the ancient Volcarona, the... So the wing, it took me around an hour. Um, I, for myself, was running up and down only halfway from the one base in the middle to start it back. Yeah, I mean, the one that I saw in the video was basically at the very beginning, right? Almost at the entrance. I found a randy, random shiny rock rough, but accidentally evolved it into the wrong form. Oh, no. I am sorry to hear that. But I'm sure that it's still super, super cool. Rockruff and its evolutions, no matter which evolution you have, is a super, super cool Pokemon. The Lycanroc in all of its forms. Oh! Oh! It's just floating around right there! As if nothing happened! It's just floating around right here. Look at it! Oh! It sees me! It sees me! And I see you! Oh, ho, ho! the ancient mystery was flutter main right here in shiny, absolutely beautiful. It looks so cool. Okay, what we are doing right now is we're gonna wait for a little bit. We're gonna spin around the camera. I'm actually gonna switch out my Pokemon to Skeledurge because Skeledurge has the ability to sing. And we can put it to sleep. Oh! 
Oh, that is so dope. The attacks. Very, very nice. Okay, we're gonna put it to sleep right here. Oh, wait, what am I doing? There we go. Battle. Gonna put it to sleep. Right away. There it is. The shiny flutter main. It's sleeping with its eyes open. That's fine. That is uh, that is fine. And we're gonna pan around the camera a little bit more. There's another one! There's another one! It works! It works! That's what you want to do. Okay, we, we, what we want to do right now is we need to catch this Pokemon. What you want to do is you want to do this strategy, right? Ghost-type Pokemon, find that one shiny Pokemon that you're looking for, and then just engage with the Pokemon. Try to... Try to have it attack you, try to put it to sleep, pan the camera around a little bit to the left and the right, and you might eventually find another shiny. There are two! It's just sitting there! I want to get a, a good camera angle. Wait, it's going! Where is it going? This feather man is leaving me! No! Where is it going? Oh! <laughs> okay, we have it, we have it! Nice! Oh! No, there, there were different feather man. There were, there were other feather mains too. I need to find that shiny. Where did it go? There, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is! Here's another one! Another one! Another Flutter Mane! Back to back Flutter Mains in green! Woohoohoo! That is... <laughs> okay, okay. Are we doing it again? Let's do it again. We are gonna, you know, switch out our Pokemon. That means the other Flutter Mane can attack us. Gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna pan around the camera. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nice attack. Let's see if we can make another one spawn. We gotta put that one to sleep just as we did with the previous one. Okay, okay, okay. Infinite Christmas gifts. <laughs> Let's see, do we have another foot domain somewhere? It could be beneath me. It could be underneath me, too. We're gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna pan around the camera. That is exactly what you want to do. You pan around the camera. And it will potentially... It will potentially... Potentially, it will spawn another one for you. Just gotta be patient. Maybe I can try to attack it again. Why not? Let's do another thing. There it is! It's just sitting down there! It's... That is not real, is it? This is... Uh, this is one way to get shinies right here. It's just sitting down there. It's just waiting for us! <laughs> Okay, so right now, as long as we have the sandwich up and running, we're gonna have shiny flutter mains. Okay, I caught this one, and we're gonna go to our new friend. We're gonna go to our... Do we have another one? I'm just looking around. We're gonna go to our next friend right here. Hey there! <laughs> okay! Okay, okay, okay. Gonna switch out our Pokemon. Oh, my Skeleturge is actually taking quite some damage in this. Okay, this is... What's the link to the strategy? Um, It's pretty simple. You create a ghost-type sandwich. You go into this cave during day. And there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's all you have to do. Um, I will potentially create a short about this strategy. I just had to try it out for myself, so there will be a short 
about this strategy online in the next, I would say, 24 hours on my channel. It's actually a force, not a glitch. Shiny Pokemon are not time locked, so we force the game to let them spawn. Basic, yeah, basically. Okay, we're gonna sing again. We're gonna put Fluttermane number. Wait, what is that? Oh no, there's a different Pokemon. I think my timer ran out. I think my timer ran out. We found the Fluttermane quite late in the game, so my timer ran out. We're gonna put. Gonna put Fluttermane number three to sleep. I can't believe this works like that. Okay. And this should work with all... This should work with all ghost-type Pokemon, right? Or all time-locked Pokemon that spawn only on day or maybe even only at, at daytime. Trying to catch our third one right here. It's a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit more difficult, but that's fine. Oh, it is awake again. I didn't even realize it's awake. I'm gonna put it to sleep again. We are going to put that one to sleep in a minute. It's avoiding the attack. It's probably defeating my Pokemon right here. That is brutal. Oh, we have one. Okay, okay. So you wouldn't feel sad. I appreciate that. Let's let's see if we can. Come on, sing, sing for us. If you get two Roaring Moons, let me know. Wait, it's still alive. It still has one one HP left right here. It really doesn't want to go down. I appreciate that. Ooh, we just caught ourselves three shinies in a minute. It took us it took us half an hour to find the shiny, but then you immediately have three of them. Okay. So everybody in the chat, you can see right here, um, become a member to get access to member exclusive events and member exclusive Discord channel, member exclusive everything, for example emotes and, you know, badges here on YouTube. And we will be giving away shiny Pokemon here on the channel. We just caught ourselves our third, still not, no, I'm trying to, you know, time it, but... I will most likely give away two of these Flutter Mains because I only need one. I don't have to have multiple of the same Pokemon in my team. Gonna choose our next Pokemon. It really is a little bit aggressive right here. So we will most likely give away two of the Flutter Mains in our first membership giveaway. To everyone who is a member, you will have access to the giveaways and to all of that on the Discord server. So make sure to become a member. If you want to, you can join. Um, the Discord server and the memberships, and you will get access to that. This one is a little bit difficult, though. This one is a little bit difficult, though. And of course, with the membership, uh, you know, you will get uh, the option, the, the chance to get one of these shinies. But of course, you can also try these strategies out for yourself and catch these shinies for yourself. That works too. But you will have my original train attack on the Pokemon if you're winning it in a giveaway right here. Let me see. I want my third Flutter Main. It's escaping. It's breaking free. Flamingo, as soon as I get money, I'm buying a membership. I appreciate that. All right, let's see. It's just not staying in there. Are you gonna put on your recent shiny the number three, two, or put three images of it together? No, I'm just gonna put one Pokemon down right there. I'm just gonna put one Flutter Mane in there. We caught ourselves our third Flutter Mane shiny. <laughs> that is... <laughs> All right, okay. Very, very interesting uh, strategy right here.
And just to make sure that those are not like glitched Pokemon or everything or anything, we're gonna check out the stats. The stats are different, you can already see it. So we're gonna take these three, we're gonna put them in the right box. This is the right box, and as you can see on the right side, they all have different stats, right? They all have different attack, different special attack stats, and that makes them absolutely legitimate for being a uh, shiny Pokemon, but different Pokemon. Uh, let me see, let me see. There we go. Fluttermane. We have the Fluttermane in shiny three times. That's just, it's just funny. It's just funny. Um, this is definitely something that probably should not work like this. But it does. Okay, it does. And as long as you're playing the game right now, I recommend you to just try it out. I just recommend you to try out the strategy because they might be changing something about that strategy that it uh, won't work in the future because it is definitely a very, very strong strategy to get not only one shiny of the same Pokemon, but several shinies of the same Pokemon. And they are not even, like, it's not a duplicate glitch where you have the same Pokemon over and over again. I have seen strategies online where people are able to duplicate a spawn of a Pokemon, but that is spawning the same exact Pokemon with the same exact stats. Which is kind of not a good thing. I am not sure how um, Nintendo is banning, you know, hacked and illegal or whatever Pokemon. But if you have the same Pokemon with the same stats, it's kind of a little bit, I don't know, a little bit suspicious. <laughs> Therefore, I'm really, really happy with this method. We are going to get our Roaring Moon right now. Roaring Moon is a little bit different though, because obviously it's not a ghost type Pokemon. And therefore, we will have a lot of spawns that we have to check. But we found our first shiny of the day. I have to change the number two because right now we are um, at eight shinies in total. There we go. Eight different shiny Pokemon in total that we have caught. I want to check out my boxes again to show you guys the eight shinies. We have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why do I only have six? Why am I saying eight? Does this not make sense? One, two, three, four, five. Six. We have six shinies. Why does it say eight? I'm a little bit confused. I'm only counting different shinies that I have too. So even if I have... Um... Oh, of course I have eight. Of course I have eight. Sorry, I'm a little bit... This is not how it should be. We have eight. There we go. I completely forgot that we have a few different Pokemon as well. Let me just put them right here. We have Great Task. I completely forgot about Great Task. And we have Slitherwing. Right here. Look at them. How could I forget about them? How could I forget about the two Shinies in my team? We have... The great task. Slitherwing, they are already at level 100. I was leveling them up because I want to have some really, really good strong Pokemon in the um, five star rates to get more ingredients for the sandwiches. And talking about these sandwiches, we have to check out. Let me check out uh, my sheet right here. So we want to go for Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is Dragon and, ta and Dark. If we go for Dragon, we don't really have another. Paradox Pokemon that could spawn. So if we, And if we go for Dark, we could see an Amoongus. The um, Brute Bonnet and Shiny. So we're gonna make a Dark Sandwich right now. I'm gonna save my game. Just in case. Yet again. And we're gonna do a Sandwich. Gonna make a Sandwich that will boost the uh, Dark Odds. So we are going to hunt for not only Roaring Moon. But as soon as we have Roaring Moon and Shiny. We might be able to find the Ancient Amoongus. The... Um, Brute Bonnet as well. Just felt like my game was glitching for a moment right there. Um, did I love Roaring Moon, the the ones in your team? Yes, 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 Flamingo, you're right. Uh, Roaring Moon is super, super cool. Um, 
I have four shinies all just by random encounters. That is really, really cool too. Okay, we're gonna go create creative mode. I have to open up my little cheat sheet right here. I already know the the first um, four ingredients, but then we need to check out what I need for dark. Dark, right? It is dark that we want to boost. Dark for, yes. Dark is smoked fillets. Do I have? Yes, I do. I bought quite some uh, ingredients. We're gonna do the same thing again. Spicy and bitter herba mystica. Two of them should be enough. And we're gonna pick the red flag pick right here. Whew. Sandwich time. Sandwich time. And I'm going to put down the ingredients in order. We start with the tomato. I'm not sure if you can just put them on randomly, but I'm just doing them in, in order of um, what the guide is showing me right here. I'm gonna put all the onion on the right. Gonna put all the pepper on the left. And we're gonna put the hamburger meat in the middle. It's, you know, you, you make your way through the sandwich. First you start with a very interesting taste of, you know, some onions, then you have some meat, and then you ended up with some nice pepper. And overall, you will have a lot of smoked fillet. Oh, that is big. Oh, my hamburger meat, my hamburger meat is kind of falling down. Oh no, that's bad, that's bad. Oh no, okay, 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 what? The meat is still there. I'm gonna put the pig right here. It's gonna keep the meat. It's gonna, it's gonna keep the meat in place. The hamburger meat is in place. It's a, okay. It's a little bit of a stuffed sandwich. I'm not sure if the hamburger meat is still in there. That's the thing. If if one particular item, for example, the meat. No, it's still there. It's still there. The meat falls off the sandwich. It might not give you the encounter boost, or it might not give you the type that you're even looking for. Let's hope for the best with this chaotic sandwich. It is a three-star sandwich for sure. Encounter and sparkling power for dark. And this means we can go in to the ground zero right here to find, hopefully, find our roaring moon. In sparkly green. Omnia says, no way. Oh, come on. That was a perfect sandwich. I have no idea what you guys have been seeing, but this was a perfect sandwich. If you haven't caught Roaring Moon already or um, Iron Valiant, I think it's called, which is the future Galate slash God of War mix, um, I will show you where to find it. You have to go into research area three. And from here, I think go... Oh, we have a lot of Ancient Amoongus already. Uh, I think you go to the left. Okay, maybe I don't even know where to find it. Man, the ancient Amoonguses are definitely spawning. You go to the left. And there should be... A little bit of a rock formation right here. And this rock formation, you can jump over it or you can just go through it. Should lead you right into this cave. And this cave... Okay, we have a lot of the sneezes. Okay, okay. This cave is where you can find Roaring Moon. As well as Iron Valiant if you are playing on Violet. Obviously with the Dark Boost we are seeing some other Pokemon here too. And they are all shiny boosted too. So they could be shiny. But I'm telling you right now. Oh man I should have boosted Dragon. There are so many Pokemon spawning in here. Maybe I should have boosted Dragon. Instead of trying to go for the Ancient Amoongus as well. Because we kind of want to single out the Pokemon as good as we can. And if I would have boosted Dragon, I think we would only see um, Swilus and Roaring Moon. Right now, there are way too many Pokemon spawning here. And I don't like it. Way too little Roaring Moons. And this one, that's very interesting. Um, Holly was also trying to get uh, the Iron Valiant in beautiful silver metallic looking. And the Ghost Dog, that dog right here, Gravard and the Evolution, is what she ended up getting in Shiny. Like both of them. The small one and the big one. 
But for me, it's literally just spawning these Pokemon and that's it. Which is not good. And we have Palmy. No way. Wait, we have a Chansey right here? Can't remember Chansey being a Dark type. I'm gonna close out. I'm gonna boost Dragon. I'm gonna boost Dragon. There are way too many different Pokemon in there. With the Dark type, I didn't expect to have um, so many different Pokemon in there. That's... No, 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 no. I know my sandwich was beautiful. But I would rather have... Very, very limited Pokemon in there. But more Roaring Moons. Compared to all these Pokemon that were spawning there. What we saw were like... Three Roaring Moons. Out of... I don't know. Almost 50 Pokemon that we saw. I don't like that. Those are not the odds that I'm going for. Which uh, kind of sandwich would be a better? Fight or Fairy? I want the Iron Valiant and Shiny. Um, Holly was trying to to find that too and was using the Fight Sandwich. The Fight Sandwich was giving a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of um, the Iron Valiant. So I would recommend you to go for the Fighting type boosts. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Gonna go tomato, we're gonna go onion, we're gonna go pepper, we're gonna go the hamburger meat. And now for the dragon type, we need avocado. One, two, and then we're gonna go for one, two herbal mysticas. Next. Gonna pick the red flag pick again. And we're gonna go for tomato right here, tomato right there tomato right here next up we have the onion on the list two and three pepper gonna try to put the hamburger meat in the middle again hopefully it's not falling off I'm gonna try to place it a little bit better this time all right there we go and six pieces of avocado two three four Two on this side. Uh, it looks fine. It looks fine. It looks actually pretty good. It actually looks pretty good. There we go. Um, that should definitely give us the dragon type boost that we are looking for. Level 3 sparking power as well as level 3 encounter power. And I think we're going to see some Svilos down there in this area too. But besides that, we should only be able to see... Should only be able to see the uh, Roaring Moon. Oh, I have to press A. I always, I, I always look at the sandwich forever. And it's just not going away. I would crush that sandwich. Let's see. There we go. We have our level 3 for Dragon as well as uh, for Sparkling as well as Encountering Power. Gonna go out here. I'm actually gonna switch my Pokemon real quick. Because we obviously want to sing it to sleep as soon as we encounter it. And we're gonna go in. Again, hopefully this time we will have a little bit of a better chance. With the Roaring Moon and not have so many other Pokemon spawn in. What's this guy in the chat about? I have no idea. Not completely sure what's going on there. Alright, okay, let's see. We're gonna look for the cave. We still have the Amu... Are those dragon type a move? I'm a little bit confused about these spawns. Normal world corona? What what is what exactly is up with these spawns? Like this is everything but dragon. 
Did I make a sandwich that is... Okay, 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 this looks better. This uh, gibble right here looks better. Okay, Roaring Moon, that looks good. Gibbles, we Okay, this looks better. For dragons. But at the same time, it is still spawning a lot of other Pokemon besides the Roaring Moon. I really just want to see Roaring Moons. And having all these Vilus in here. And Gibbles. Is not necessarily helping. As well as the ghost type Pokemon. Oh man. Hunting Roaring Moon might be a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. Because not only do we see so many other Pokemon too. That take away the spawn rates for Roaring Moon. But they also take away. Like if we find the shiny. It might be a completely different one. Okay. I like to see two Roaring Moons right here. The little Gibble group. Another little Gibble group. Oh, we might find a lot of shinies that have nothing to do with Roaring Moon. Does only one Roaring Moon spawn at the time? No, if you have the uh, boosts, it's actually going to be more ro Roaring Moons if you can get them. Like as you saw before, we had two at the time. Wow, this is going to be way, way more difficult than I expected it to be. Because there are so many other Dragon-type Pokemon in here, too. And obviously the Dark-type Pokemon were kind of the same. When I was watching Holly on uh, Pokemon Violet, there were just so, so many Iron... Um, like the Galate slash Gardevoir mix Pokemon spawning in like so so many and every here and there you saw the little dog pokemon here but overall it's just see we have two roaring moons on the screen right now three roaring moons so we definitely have a chance to get more than than one roaring moon on the screen but this is tough Seeing all these other Pokemon, they really take away from the Roaring Moon spawns. And then we have the random two Pommies spawn right there. Maybe if I kind of stay away from the middle? No. But then I don't want to have it spawn in the wall. Man, I can tell you right now, we probably are getting something else in Shiny. You see how many spawns there are? All these spawns, we gotta despawn them. There we go, we, we despawn them and we hopefully spawn something else. Roaring Moon over here. We have the, the Doggos right there. Another Gibble formation over there. Despawning everything. We have more dogs spawning. More do These dogs are everywhere. Okay, this is gonna be a tough hunt. Not only do we have to be lucky to get a shiny, but we almost have to be lucky to get a Roaring Moon at all. I mean, they are spawning here and there. It's not like we don't see them at all. It's just that we see way too many other Pokemon. Come on, Gibble. The Gibble formation is kind of like a little bit tough on me. Because they take away so many spawns. The Swelos right here the Swilos they are okay I feel like they are okay because they spawn like here and there there's a Swilos but the dog as well as the little dragon gibble formation like these dogs look at that that's a 10 Pokemon spawns that they just take away up here we have 
Pommies? Pomos? We have a little gibble formation up there. A chancy for no reason. Two chances for no gibble formation. Interesting. Have you guys already found yourself a shiny roaring moon? If so, let me know in the comments. I would really, really like to know and like to hear your experience with that. The shiny roaring moon. Have you already tried it or are you staying away from it because of that exact reason that there are not really a lot of them spawning in? This is making it so much more difficult to hunt that Pokemon. Again in Violet, if you pick a fighting type sandwich, you almost only see the Gardevoir slash Glade mix. Here and there you see some Pomos, some Pommies. But I feel like it's way, way more difficult to get Roy Moon spawning. Which I guess is also nice if you have one. Because it makes it... This one is just crawling out of the earth. We even have a Flutter main over there. Alright, okay. Because it makes it more rare and therefore more special to actually have it. That might be a little bit of a difficult task, though, to get that shiny now. Might take way longer than I expected it to be. But again, no matter the time, we can always reset the sandwich. Gonna despawn these dogs. Maybe I can just wait in this area right here and just make Pokemon despawn and spawn. There's a Roaring Moon right there. We're gonna despawn the five dogs over there. And if I go back into this area, we should have other Pokemon spawn. There we have a Slither Wing. Pawmies, a lot of Pawmies. We're gonna despawn them. Gonna despawn the dragons there too. We're gonna do it a little bit slower now. We're just gonna focus on despawning Pokemon at this point. Ah, it's not really working the way I want it to work. There's another one. Gonna despawn these. We have an, uh, We have four. Oh, why is this one so small? This one looks so small. Look at the. Why? That's such a small one. Well, the other one is just really big. Oh, they're, they're both wanting me. That's funny. Oh, no, no, stop, stop running after me. Okay, we're gonna despawn them all. We have another one spawn in here. That isn't green, is it? No. Okay, let's see. Roaring Moon right here. We have dogs, Roaring Moons, Roaring Moons. Okay, 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 okay. I think the despawn method is not too bad. So we are just running... As far away as possible to despawn. We're gonna run over there to despawn what we have here. More dogs that spawn. Really wish the dog formation wouldn't spawn that often. Roaring Moon. More dogs. Did, every, did anybody else uh, shiny hunt for Roaring Moon before? And if so, do you have a better strategy? Because right now we are spawning like three or four every now and then. And that is... Okay, now we are seeing a lot. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but compared to before. There's another one. I feel like that is the strategy to go. If you really want that... We still have a 1 in 1,000 chance. Maybe what would be helpful would be the shiny charm. To bring it down to 1 in around 600. Uh, more 700 than 600. 1 in 700. Why do they spawn so close to the, to the edge? Of being despawned. I almost feel like they will spawn a shiny roaring moon at some point and I accidentally run away from it. 
Like I run and despawn it. Way too many doggos. Don't want to see the doggos. Um. Wait, 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 what is happening? I really have no clue why the dogs spawn though. The dogs? Um, that is our theory. The thing is, we are playing this as, a, as an entire family, right? Like everyone in the family is playing these games. And one theory is that this is just a Pokemon that always spawns here. Like even the Palmeo, I don't know why they spawn the Palm Palmos right here. And even with the um, Sandwich power up, this is just like a, a habitat for these Pokemon. And they spawn even though you have a higher encounter rate for other Pokemon. That's our theory. These dogs, bro. We have three Roaring Moons right here. And the thing is, the dogs can also be shiny. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Holly was shiny hunting for Iron Valiant. The Violet exclusive Pokemon, Paradox Pokemon, that can be found in this cave. Uh, was shiny hunting for that yesterday for, I would say, two hours, I would assume. And instead of finding the shiny Paradox Pokemon, Holly found the shiny dogs. Like Greybart and the Evolution too. Like both of them. Which is good too, right? Because it is filling up the shiny Pokedex. But at the same time, if you want the Gallade. Man, I just made this one Paradox Pokemon disappear. The Roaring Moon. Which wasn't the shiny, but again, that's what I feel like when I find the shiny. It will be on the edge of the spawn area and I will accidentally just make it disappear. Okay, we're gonna go into this corner. I'm just going from one corner into another one. Gibbles. Giving some Pokemon the chance to spawn in. We have some Roaring Moons. Okay, I'm gonna despawn all of these Pokemon over here. Again, you always can kind of count the Pokemon on screen. Like right now I have a, a group of five right here, a group of five right there. I have a few other Pokemon. I would say around 20, 20 Pokemon. Oops. 20 Pokemon to 25 Pokemon is what you can see on screen at the same time. And if you see that there are around 20 to 25 Pokemon on the screen, on your map, just try and despawn most of them and wait for other Pokemon to spawn in. Oh man. I genuinely don't even want the Swidus in Shiny. Because I have... There is a Vaporeon right here. Excuse me? Dark type Vapor no wait what Dragon type Vaporeon? Because we are only boosting Dragon type right now. It is it gotta be a Dragon type Vaporeon. We're gonna take away that group of five right there. Gonna take a look around, gonna give some time to the Pokemon to spawn. Not really a lot of Pokemon spawn in though. What's happening? Where are the Pokemon? Oh, the dogs. Some Roaring Moons, some Gibbous. Oh, that looks nice. We have five Roaring Moons on screen. Stop hunting me. Listen to me. I don't want you. If you're not a shiny, I don't want you. I accidentally ran into the dog. Theory, the dogs are the spirits of the people who spent too long to hunt that and they died. Oh no, I will become one of these dogs. The dogs are so cute though. The dogs are cute. 
I'm not saying anything else. I actually genuinely like the dog. My wife kind of like hates them. <laughs> not not hating the dog, but at the same time, like right now, I really don't want to see the dog. I would really just want to see some more roaring moons, especially green ones. Lots of roaring moons, but none of them are green. Oh, lots of roaring moons, I like it. Roaring moon left and right. I like it, I like it, I like it. The dogs are gonna despawn. Oh! Let's give the Pokemon some time to load in. The dogs! The dogs are coming. By the way, missed opportunity for future and past Paradox Eevee. True, that's true. I mean, a lot of people are hoping for... Not only past and future form Eevees, but there are just so many typings that haven't seen an Eevee form yet. And I'm sure we will see more in the future. Just not with this generation. They are saving it up for later generations, which is fine. Man, I just really... Uh, I just don't know what to do if I find a different shiny than Roaring Moon. Do I want to reset my sandwich because the sandwiches are kind of difficult to obtain? Or do I just keep the shiny Pokemon that I'm catching? I have never seen one fly. I have never just see one go up in the sky like that. So if I find a different shiny, am I going to keep the different shiny or am I going to reset my sandwich? Now they are all flying. All of the sudden, Roaring Moon learned fly. And I don't know if I appreciate that because that could mean that I have been missing a lot of Roaring Moons that are just flying above me. The dogs right there, come on dogs. They're just flying away from me now. As soon as they spawn, they start flying. Oh, we have a we haven't seen a gibble formation in quite some time. No, okay, I'm running right into it. Please catch an Eevee. Uh, I actually have quite some Eevees. Like, future Eevee would be Iron and Past might be Ground, Rock or Dragon. Um, that would actually work. Yeah, that would actually work. It would, yeah. Oh, man, I'm running into them now. Definitely kind of a missed chance for Paradox Eevees. I agree. I mean, I'm gonna reset the sandwich... Anyway, probably, because we have... Nah, we have 10 more minutes. That's actually a lot of time. But we haven't found a single shiny to begin with. Like, not a single shiny that makes it worth... To keep on going without resetting. I know, I know, I know. You're all dragon type. But you're all the wrong Pokemon. Three Roaring Moons right here. Hey, I mean a chance in 1 in 1024. Uh, seeing three Roaring Moons, seeing five Roaring Moons right here. That's awesome. 
That's really... Oh, look. Oh, we are seeing a lot right now. Okay, I can't... I, I, I can't really complain about that. We are actually seeing... If we are not seeing what... Stop following me. You need to leave. You need to leave and despawn. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Three more. My wife can't really watch the streams anymore because the constant turning around the camera is kind of making her nauseous. And I can totally understand that, especially in this cave right here, where I'm just going in circles. And I'm just looking around constantly. Man, I just despawned that ancient roaring moon quicker than it was even in the game. I can totally understand that. Like, genuinely... I am getting nauseous. We have an Espeon right there. This was actually the cave where Holly found a shiny Espeon, a green Espeon just hopping around. Like this is definitely something that is very, very difficult on the eyes, just running around in circles the entire time. I see the ghost dogs on there. He's spawning them. There are more go the ghost dogs. I despawned a roaring moon. I couldn't even shiny check it. I have no idea what color that was. Roaring moon, roaring moon, roaring moon. Roaring moon be gone. The dogs, the do the dogs. Is the Espion Terra Dragon? Those are good questions. I have no idea. The ghost dogs are also half dog, half dragon. They have to be. We saw Chansey spawning in this cave too. That's just interesting. Roaring Moon flying away. That Roaring Moon is just flying away because it knows it's gonna get despawned. Bop. Okay, Roaring Moon, listen. I've been running around in this cave for way too long to not give me one, to, to, to not go home with a shiny one. Oh, wait, what? Did I just despawn something? I thought I did. Something that might have been a shiny, I don't know. It was something greenish. It wasn't a roaring moon. It was too small for a roaring moon. For a moment I thought it was a gibble, but gibble looks a little bit different and shiny than what I saw. Maybe I'm just starting to imagine things. Maybe I'm just, you know, I want that shiny so much that I'm starting to see shinies where there are no shinies. Seeing shinies where there are no shinies. The dogs back there. Stop taking away the spawns. The dogs back there. I literally despawned five dogs to have five other dogs spawn over there. Man, I really hope that the shiny one, as soon as I find it, just goes up in the air and stares at me like this. That looked really dope. How is it that they start to fly all of a the sudden? They didn't do that before. More ghost dogs. Okay, I'm letting you guys know right now, right this moment, as soon as I find a shiny Roaring Moon, I'm gonna level that up. I'm gonna level that Pokemon up to level 100. And I'm gonna play Terror Raids with the Roaring Moon. Just to show it, just to show it to people. I feel like the Roaring Moon is definitely going to be a, a big achievement to get. One of the maybe a little bit more difficult shiny Pokemon to catch. Even though shiny chances are boosted and it is not the most difficult to get a shiny Paradox Pokemon because of the spawn rates and the way you can shiny hunt in this game, I feel like Roaring Moon is definitely a little bit more difficult to obtain. At least in shiny. What's on the timer? Four more minutes. The Espion. 
Well, I'm going now. Good luck hunting. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Chef is in the chat. You would say it depends on the shiny if I want it or not. Yeah, I mean that question is already answered by not finding a shiny at all. Obviously, if I'm not finding a shiny at all, I'm not gonna keep any. Because I can't. This turns out to be very, very difficult. It would be different if this entire cave would be filled with Roaring Moons instead of the other Pokemon. Like, if every other Pokemon that is spawning, like the Gibbles right here, if all of these Pokemon were Roaring Moons, we would have such a huge spawn rate. What if we boost? No, no, I, I don't think that works. What if we would, would make two sandwiches? One that boosts Dragon and one that boosts Stark. Would it show up all Dragon Pokemon and Dark Pokemon? Or would it show up only Dragon and Dark Pokemon? For example, Gibble is not a Dark type. Right? That would kind of like... Get rid of the Gibbles. The dogs would still spawn though. The dogs always spawn. The dogs right here. That's almost like my biggest nightmare. Getting a shiny Gravon. Where are your friends? Where are your friends? Where are your green friends? Stop, stop hunting me. Stop doing that. These givers. Okay, okay, okay. I'm telling you right now, if they are flying like this, I'm gonna miss one. I'm gonna miss a shiny one that is flying. Man, I'm super anxious that I am actually despawning the shiny one. How many would you guys say that we see in this run? Like in these 30 minutes. A hundred? Two hundred? Probably not more than two hundred. Probably not even a hundred. Maybe a hundred. Which still only gives it like a 10% to be shiny. Was that a shiny one flying out of the game? Probably not. Hopefully not. If I didn't see it, it didn't exist. If I despawn a shiny and I didn't see it, it never existed. We still have seven seconds. Seven seconds on the time. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the shiny one? Spawn in the shiny one right now. Okay, 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 okay. I would assume that the statement the Roaring Moon is going to be one of the more difficult Paradox Pokemon to shiny hunt. It's quite true. I would assume that that is definitely the case. Especially with all the other random Pokemon that we are spawning in.
Hello, I'm new. I'm from Manchester, England. How are you, Mr. Callum? Nice to see you in the chat. Absolutely fantastic to see you. Um, doing absolutely great. I'm very happy to see you in the chat right here with us today. Um, let me see. I, I need to... Let me see if I can put the chat into two different corners because I don't want to look up there and down here for the chat all of the time. When you're shiny spoiled and complain about not having one shiny in 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, not necessarily complaining. Um, just realizing that Roaring Moon definitely is going to be a little bit more difficult to obtain. All right, we need uh, onion, green pepper, ham. I feel like I have the main ingredients. Now, what were we boosting? Avocado. We were boosting the dragon type. And we're going to use the two Herba Mysticas like we did before. Gonna make the accidentally... Did I go out of it? Okay. Tomato, onion, green pepper. Hamburger. Avocado. There we go, there we go. Next. Red flag. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Juan Manuel says, I have Violet. Violet is definitely a really, really good game. Um, definitely has a lot of really, really cool Pokemon. I'm very, very happy that we here in this household, we have both games. And that is giving me the chance to really get all of the Pokemon by either, either trading or at some point we will, um, change the, uh, switch the games, switch the games, the, the switch to switch games, swap the games so I can play Violet and Holly can play Scarlet and therefore eventually, eventually, eventually I will have all the version exclusive Pokemon, I will have all the Pokemon in general and right now I'm gonna have the best sandwich. Ah, uh, never mind, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There you go. I think even the one avocado piece that you see right there is still on the sandwich. Alright, okay, that one's still on the sandwich, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I fired, I got some of the Paradox Pokemon in Shiny. Which Paradox Pokemon did you get? The Violet Shiny Pokemon? I think they look super, super cool. I really, really do like them. But I also have to say some of the Scarlet Paradox Pokemon in Shiny look super, super cool. Alright, we have our sandwich. We have another 30 minutes on the clock. For another chance to get Roaring Moon right here. There we are. Gonna go to research research station 3. If you haven't found your Roaring Moon yet. Or you don't know the exact location where to find it. Or the Iron Valiant. If you are playing on Pokemon Violet. Then you can get into the research station 3. And all you have to do is you have to go straight on to the left a little bit. So you can... To the left a little bit and you will find a little bit of a stone formation still very interesting to see all of these pokemon spawn here maybe they spawn on the maybe they spawn these pokemon in here because there are just overall no dragons spawning here and if there are no dragons spawning they are just spawning other pokemon but we are going into an area where we have the dragon spawn there we are there we go Another 30 minutes on the clock right here for Roaring Moon. Hopefully making its entrance in Shiny. I'm gonna stay on Coridon though. So we can despawn Pokemon quicker and we can run into these Pokemon quicker. And Ninja, I'm back. Nice to see you back. I hope you're having a fantastic time. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna run. Jesse, um, if you're still in the stream, I would really, really like to hear which shinies you got so far. Oh. I wish we could work, we could work, we could walk backwards because I feel like you see a lot of the Pokemon, but then that are behind you, and you make them obviously just despawn behind you, but then you don't see what's in front of you, and then you run into Pokemon like I just did. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Roaring moon, roaring moon. 
but the blue one There we go. I got a shiny iron bundle, shi uh, iron valiant and iron hands. I personally think that iron hands is a super super cool Pokemon to have in shiny because it is very very strong in the 5 star rates. And I definitely want to have a shiny iron hands at some point for the raids. But iron uh, valiant is super super dope. I genuinely didn't think that the Iron Hands, like when the game was released, right, and I looked at all the Paradox Pokemon that were out there, I thought that Iron Hands was not necessarily the best looking Pokemon and picking Hay Hayama as a Paradox Pokemon, I was, I don't know, a little bit skeptical about the, this pick. But man, seeing it in action, it's a great pick. It's super cool. I really do like it. What what is what are these spawns right here? Gibble and Pomo? Thank you, but no thank you. Oh, Roaring Moon, but not the right one. Gonna despawn a couple of these. Gibble, we're gonna despawn the Gibbles. It's almost like a despawning game at this point. Just trying to despawn as many Pokemon as possible to make. The Gibbles! Stop it! The Gibbles are following me everywhere. There was a Roaring Moon, I didn't even see what color it was. Man, right now we are not lucky. We are not seeing any Roaring Moons at all. There's one. We see Palmos? Palmies? There we go. Thank you, very, thank you very much. That's a little bit better. We are seeing some of them. Roy Moon, Roy Moon, Roy Moon. Nice, nice, nice. Getting some spawns in. Was that a green? Was that a green Swilos? I thought I saw a green Swilos somewhere. I am not sure. And if I am not sure, I say no. It was just my imagination. This is wrong. It's an urban legend that never happened. This is my greatest fear, that I am looking around and I'm despawning the shiny one. Swilos I can live with. Despawning a shiny Swilos? I have so many shiny um, dinos, Swilos and uh, high dry dragons in Pokemon Go that I can easily transfer to Pokemon Home and have the shiny in my Pokemon games. I don't really care too much about the dinos. But again, if I see a Roaring Moon that is shiny and I accidentally despawn it, oh, that's going to be painful. I'm just going to go back and forth now. Because I feel like that's a really good strategy to have them spawn in here and there. Gonna go over here. We're going to go back into this corner. Just back and forth. Right next to this little waterfall that we have in the cave. Gonna make some despawn to get some more spawns. You have the ghost dog right there. Gibble formation. Trying to get my attention. Another gibble formation over there.
We just see way too many dragon type Pokemon that we don't want to see. Not even dragon type Pokemon. Ghost type Pokemon too. Ghost type Pokemon too. Okay, I, I will take a moment and drink something real quick because man, circling around this cave is definitely something else. Um da, 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 da. I have my first batch and it's uh the bug batch. Oh very very nice, very very nice. Experiencing the game for the first time again. That is something that is uh definitely super cool. There we go. Looking carefully. Not even a single Roaring Moon. There we go. One Roaring Moon on screen. The sparkling power is up for dragons. Like we genuinely see a lot of dragons. It's not a lot of roaring moons, but we see Gibble, we see uh, High Dragon everywhere. And I don't think we have seen a, a single shiny at all yet. Except of the one that I think I despawned on accident. I'm gonna find myself a shiny Roaring Moon today. I tell you, Iron Iron Valiant in that caves are really common when you eat a fairy sandwich. That's crazy, that's crazy. I saw, um, again, Holly was hunting it with the, not fairy, but with the fighting type sandwich. And it was spawning so many Iron Valiants. Compared to what I see right here with the Roaring Moon, it's just crazy how little the Roaring Moon is spawning in. Because we have Smilus and Gibble spawning in way too much. Gibble, disappear. Thank you. And of course the, the Ghost Dogs. The Ghost Dogs are everywhere. There was a Roaring Moon in the wall, but I think it's a normal one. You see the wing just peeking through the wall. Why did I... Why do I have Niraidon on the front? I thought I... Oh, I reset the game. I reset the game earlier. I want to have a Skeletorch in the front because I can sing with Skeletorch and put the Pokemon that we want to catch to sleep in case we find a Pokemon we want to catch of course The Gibbles. The group of five. I genuinely like that game mechanic that they have group of five spawns. I think that's super cool. Especially when they have, for example, four smaller Pokemon and then the evolution in the middle of these uh, nice little spawns. But right now, the Gibbles and the Ghost Dogs I would really not want them to, to spawn off the time. Just making them disappear. Two roaring moons over there, we're gonna make them disappear. 
What if I just go left and right? Left and right. Make the ones disappear that I see. Ah, uh, then eventually I will have a lot of Pokemon right in front of me, right? There's not a single Pokemon if I do that. Um, Eric, nice to see you. We have uh, Robbie likes to play. Nice to have you in the chat. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Oh, we have a lot of them behind me. Still think one of the best methods to just despawn and spawn new Pokemon is to kind of like circle around. As you can see, we despawned all of the Pokemon and there is a lot of room to just spawn new Pokemon. But again, this is kind of making even me motion sick. I'm usually very resistant to getting motion sickness. But man, this circling around right here, I can definitely feel it. And all for just a different color of, of the little dragon. We're gonna wait for a moment because we don't really have any spawns. Maybe I can start to defeat the smaller Pokemon that that are not Roaring Moons. There you go, we have three Roaring Moons right there. That might make spawning in Roaring Moons and having them... Look at how many more... Oh, man. Maybe the feeling at least a few of them might be helpful. There are so many Swilos right here. Not that I get any experience points for that. Because I have only level 100 Pokemon in my party right now. Let's just despawn them. Oh, okay. I feel like defeating the Swilers, okay, this is a weird strategy right now, a weird thought, but defeating the Swilers is spawning in more Roaring Moons. Like whenever I defeat the Swilers, it's almost like it is spawning a Roaring Moon. You have 10 minutes to get... Oh man, it was an item, right? It sounded like a shiny. I wasn't paying attention, but it sounded like a shiny sound. You have 10 minutes to get a shiny. If you get one, I will donate to you. Man, 10 minutes? Let me see, let me see. I have 40 minutes on my meal time. Okay, okay, okay. 10 minutes to find the shiny. We have a deal. You have yourself a deal. For some reason, when I was defeating the Swilus, it wasn't spawning the five groups. Oh, which makes sense, because I'm only destroying one Pokemon at a time, right? And if I only destroy one Pokemon at a time, it's not giving enough room to spawn an entire five group of givers. So maybe that's the plan. Maybe that's the strategy to go. Maybe you have to defeat one Swilus at a time. I wish I could defeat them quicker though. I 
I have 10 minutes to find a shiny. I have been looking for almost an hour now. I mean, I was getting three flutter mains earlier. Lots of roaring moons. Gibble, 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 Swilus. Ghost dogs. I'm gonna check every single Pokemon though. Roaring moon. Stop, stop, stop running. Stop running after me. Gotta despawn these. Not seeing any shinies. Uh, did you get a shiny Sandy Shocks? No, I didn't get a, shine, a shiny Sandy Shocks yet. I haven't been hunting for them yet. I have been hunting for the Volcarona, which is the Silver Wing, as well as the Great Task. And I have a Flutter Main. Those are the three Paradox Pokemon that I have in Shiny. And currently we are going for Roaring Moon, which is just a little bit more difficult. Because they are spawning so many other Pokemon around that Roaring Moon spawn location. Activate shiny hex poke grizzly. I wish I could. I all I feel like I already did with the sandwich. I have to be honest, I was very very lucky with my sandwiches so far. So this is the first one where it is taking me a little bit longer. Oh man, oh man. What if hear me out? <laughs> You already spawned a shiny and you just missed it? I probably did. I genuinely probably did already. It's very difficult to navigate in this cave and just go in circles and check every Pokemon. Like, literally all I do is I try to despawn Pokemon to make room for the Roaring Moon. But instead of making room for the Roaring Moon, I make room for everything else. You know how to get Salty Herba Mystica fast? Um, well, do the raids. Obviously, 5 star and 6 star raids are giving you Herba Mystica. But you don't necessarily need Salty Herba Mystica. There are sandwich recipes. Where you get level 3 boosts for one specific type. Level 3 shiny encounter, level 3 normal encounter rate. For example for a dragon, like we do it right here, right now. Where you don't even need salty Herba Mystica. Like I literally made my sandwich and as you can see in the top right. Uh, sparkling power, encounter power, dragon. Um, I made that sandwich without a single Herba Mystica that was salty. You still need two Herba Mysticas. But you can kind of mix and match and doesn't have to be salty. In the membership only discord server we are always sharing these information with each other with the group so everybody knows about it and everybody knows how to do it. But you can also watch the stream maybe rewatch the stream when I was actually creating my sandwich to see the ingredients you need for a dragon one. It's basically tomato, onion, um, green peppers, ha uh, hamburger, and then two specific kinds of of items. 
And these two specific types of items that you're putting on there will determine which sparkling power you will boost. Which sparkling power, like which type you will boost. And then besides that you need two Herba Mysticas from whichever type. Which makes it really, really nice to get whatever kind of Herba Mystica from the 5 star rates. Because it is a little bit frustrating if you only need salty Herba Mystica and you get like sweet, you get bitter, you get spicy. The Gibble Formation. I'm gonna look at the entrance. There's one, but it's not shiny. I haven't been looking at the entrance at all. I'm telling you right now, if it is spawning right here, that would be hilarious. No. No, we have way too many different Pokemon spawn here. That have nothing to do with dragon at all. It's so much easier with the not specific Herba Mystica recipes. It is, it is, it is. Man, it was a pain when we thought that only the salty one would work. Because whenever you got one, you were kind of happy, but at the same time you weren't. But now it kind of makes you happy whenever you get just a, a Herba Mystica. No matter which type. Flutter main, excuse me. I literally caught three in shiny. What are you doing here? Roaring moon, roaring moon. What if we slowly despawn these Pokemon? If we despawn five at once? It's gonna have spawn. It's gonna have another five group spawn, right? But if we only defeat uh, despawn like two, it's only gonna make room for two more, right? So it cannot give me a group of five. I will call this the slow despawn method. Uh, it kind of works. We kind of only have Swidos and Roaring Moons right here. No, don't don't engage in fight with me, thank you. Kind of only get Swilus and Drawing Moons right now. So that is something to keep in mind. If you despawn too fast, you will get groups of five. If you despawn slower, Roaring Moon will pop up. Or Swilus. So just despawning one, letting one spawn. Despawning one, letting one spawn. Let me go into that direction. He's spawning one, letting one spawn. Gonna try to do it a little bit slower. One step at a time, but we are almost running into this one right here. So let's just defeat it real quick. He's spawning one, letting one spawn. Makes it way, way slower though. Swilus over here. Just don't want it to attack me, okay? There you go. It kind of works this way. We only have Swilus. But at the same time, we only have Swilus. No Roaring Moons at all. At least no new ones. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That is... Uh, apparently I despawned too many. No, this is not working either. Like we are having a little bit of a higher chance of getting a Roaring Moon and the Swilus with this. But it's taking way too long to despawn. Like you can really see we only have Swilus and 
Roy Moons right here. But it's just such a slow strategy. So the question is, is it worth it? Let's despawn some over there. There was one right behind me. Despawning a few. Not too many, not despawning too many, right? We also have Skeleturge defeating one here and there. Okay, we see. I, uh, it's tough to say if this is better or if it's really just very, very slow. Gonna go a little bit in the that direction. Despawn a few Pokemon over there. Have a lot of Swidus right here. So let's go into that direction. Gonna go slow, gonna go slow, gonna despawn slowly. Yeah, look how many, look how many Roaring Moons are here right now. I feel like that's, I feel like that's not a, that's not a bad strategy to do, go for. To limiting the spawns or the despawn rates a little bit. And therefore limiting it to Roaring Moons and Swilus only. Okay, let's despawn a few Pokemon over there. Despawn, despawn. It's another small one right there. I really like seeing the small ones. Gonna despawn a few. Okay, I feel like I want to go into this direction. Okay, okay. Nothing too special yet. Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna go into this direction a little bit. Despawn. Spawned a new one. Okay, I like it, I like it, I like it, okay. This is taking a little bit longer to spawn in new Pokemon. Because we are despawning them a little bit slower. But it is limiting the spawns a little bit more to two very specific types, which is Swidus. As well as Roaring Moon. And Roaring Moon is the Pokemon we are looking for. Let's take away these Pokemon. Let's take away... Ah, do we have someone right here? Oh, oh, someone saw me. I forgot to mention it earlier today, but I completed the decks today. Nice, that is really, really good. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna run. That is definitely increasing your shiny chances. We are currently sitting at around 125 Pokemon. Oh wait, the timer is up? The timer is up, everybody. Okay, I am confident though with this uh, strategy right here. We're gonna do it a little bit slower. We're gonna slow down the despawn rates to two to three despawns every five seconds. And this is avoiding the game from spawning in a group of five Gibbles, for example. A group of five um, Greybards. A group of five Pommies. Sometimes you see Pommies too. And th this might slow down. This might slow down the uh, spawn rate. But at the same time, it increases the overall spawn rates for Roaring Moon. I feel like it was... I feel like that's the case. All right, attempt number three with the dragon sandwich. And Ninja still can find it. It definitely is a uh, more difficult shiny to find. That is for sure. If you are new on the channel, new on the stream right here, make sure to leave me a like. I would really appreciate it to see you guys uh, supporting me, showing me that you guys enjoy the stream. Um, I'm gonna go for 
the regular dragon sand, which which means I think avocado, right? Let me see, let me see, let me see. If you want to know all the recipes for random Herba Mystica sandwiches, make sure to join the Discord server because here we can just mix and you know mix and match, match and mix. Spicy and bitter Herba Mystica is what we are bringing. And we're just gonna take that and this will give us a three level three boost for sparkling when it comes to dragon types as well as the spawn rates will be increased for level three dragon types. Okay, we're gonna start with that. We're gonna put the onion on the right side as always. It's gonna be a grizzly original. You already know it. Peppers on the left side. That's how we do it. That's how it is done. And then we're gonna add some avocado for everyone. Avocado the Mexico. Look at look at that. It genuinely. But okay, that bread was a little bit off, but that generally looks fine. That looks fine. Does anyone have a Coridon they can't uh, trade me? Oh, that's that's probably a tough question because it is the, sh uh, the legendary that you can only obtain once. It's always best to maybe find a friend and, you know, just be able to trade it back and forth. Maybe you can uh, see online if there is someone willing to trade these Pokemon with you. Alright, there we go. A tasty Grizzly original. As I said, it was a mix and match. We picked two random... Herba Mysticas, we still got the encounter and sparkling power for dragging up to level 3. And we are going back into the cave where we can find Roaring Moon. And I'm very, very confident now. I'm really, really confident now. Because I realize we have to despawn a little bit slower to have a higher spawn rate for Roaring Moon. Okay, let's go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna go to the left a little bit. Again, we need to go into the cave where we can find our Roaring Moon. My brother and I trade our second legendary, so we have both. That is actually really, really good. Oh, I was, I was looking at that Pokemon, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, we're gonna run in, we're gonna spawn everything that we can spawn. And then we're gonna start to despawn slowly. Especially what we want to despawn slowly is, like, the dogs. The dogs right here, we don't want. So I might actually get off Coridon. Because I don't necessarily need to despawn super fast. So we're gonna do it like this or oh, we despawn quite a few pokemon oh look at the roaring moons it definitely works slow despawn of the random pokemon that you don't want or the pokemon that are just not shiny like these two over there pop pop we're gonna despawn them is definitely uh helping to really really sort out all the other pokemon that are spawning like right now it's Swilus. And Roaring Moon only. Even though the Roaring Moons are just two of them. Now it's three of them. Nah, it's two of them again. These two Pokemon right here. Goridon is going to take care of them. Just despawning a few Pokemon at a time. Is that on green? No, that's blue. Oh, there we go. We have two Roaring Moons over here. Since they're not shiny, we're gonna make them disappear. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing too impressive yet. We're gonna make a few disappear right here. Two more Roaring Moons right there. 
I feel like even though this is still a slow rate at which we are seeing Roaring Moons, it is still better than randomly go around. It's just a little bit more of a method where I have to focus more. Like I really need to see how many Pokemon I despawn at once. Oh, that Roaring Moon is just coming in here. I am new and I subbed Austin. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have Riemann right here in the chat as well. Nice to see you guys and absolutely fantastic to see you guys trade in the chat too. If you want to trade anything, Make sure to just uh, exchange your codes here in the chat. It's absolutely fantastic to see that happen. Um, I, for myself, need to fill up my Pokedex at some point too. Again, I'm currently at like 325 Pokemon, so I'm still needing 75. Wow, Roaring Moon is really, really fast. Can really escape him once he's chasing after you, if you're not on Coridon. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we have quite some Roaring Moons right here. I do like to see it. Just not a green one. Slow despawn at us. Slow despawn at us. Maybe I'm gonna get on right in case another... Roaring Moon is chasing me. Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna have a few Roaring Moons spawn right here. No, stop dashing at me. Very scary. Okay, Coridon is definitely not the right Pokemon to have at the beginning because if we are accidentally engaging into a battle, like the entire effect of Coridon just takes way too long. So we're gonna switch that out real quick. Go. Let's be despawn a few Pokemon. Again, you don't want to despawn too many at the time. Two to three every five seconds. That's how we do it. It's just a very big group of Swidus right here. Lots of random Pokemon right here in the water. Okay, at this point I am not too sure what's better because we are despawning the Swidus a little bit slower, but at the same time we are just getting so many Swidus right now. Trying to despawn them a little bit quicker. There we go. One step at a time. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe we can actually despawn a little bit faster. Just not in one big group. We need to avoid despawning one big group. And we can just circle around and just look in the middle. Okay, okay, okay. RTCX, nice to see you again. 
I hope you're having a fantastic day and of course I remember you from last stream. I hope you are lucky in case you are shiny hunting. I hope you are. Oh, we have the dogs. We despawned too much. Despawned a little bit too quick. A new roaring moon right there. Dogs are back, okay. Apparently we despawned too quick again. Lots and lots of roaring moons, but none of them are shiny. Lots and lots of roaring moons. If you need help with the decks, I can try to help you as much as I can, Chrissy. I don't have all but a few. Um, I genuinely enjoy just playing through the game and I might want to trade uh, a few Pokemon very, very late in the game. Maybe, you know, when I'm still missing 25 of the... What is happening? I can't escape. I'm always jumping into a new Swilus. Like, maybe when I'm missing, like, 20... 25 Pokemon, I might start trading them. But I really enjoy just going around, leveling up and evolving my own Pokemon and catching them in the wild. But I appreciate it. Definitely will uh, text you in the Discord server that we have set up for the Pokecracy channel if I need anything. Okay, I'm not really sure if the slowly despawning. I feel like it is helpful because we see quite a lot of uh, Roaring Moons on the screen here and there. Uh, we accidentally despawned five at the same time, so the dogs were coming in again. But it's just still very, very slow. A slow rate where we see the Roaring Moons. Stop it. Stop it. I Stop it. Despawning, despawning, despawning. Oh, right behind me. Right behind me. Okay, the roaring moon is giving me a little bit of a headache. I'm gonna try to despawn a little bit quicker. Not too quick. But just a little bit quicker. No, God, <laughs> they're just running after me. Does anybody else have some tips besides, you know, having a shiny charm to, uh, and the shiny roaring moon. I feel like I'm doing everything right. I feel like there is not a lot I can do differently. I just wish there was something I could do differently to have at least more Pokemon spawning. I know if I go for a dark type sandwich, it won't be really different, right? Because instead of having a Swilus running all over the place, it's gonna be Sneasel. But these Swilus are taking away quite some spawns.
Maybe try another one uh, that isn't spawning so many other Pokemon. The thing is, another one is not... Another one is not Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is such a cool Pokemon and I really would like to get that. I mean, how many... We have 50 more minutes. I'm gonna try the 50 more minutes and then I might uh, go for a different one. But I'm probably gonna go for a different Paradox Pokemon. Man, that was a really nice spawn. Spawned in a few Roaring Moons right there. Almost ran into this one. I'm just curious to know how to make the Roaring Moon spawn a little bit more precise. Again, now we are despawning too quick. And if you despawn too quick, you're gonna have spawns in five groups. In groups of five, like the Gibble that is over there. We don't want to have that happen. Gibble. Didn't I just tell you I don't want to gibble? Okay, we're gonna do it with the faster despawn right now. Because I guess even if we are seeing so many other Pokemon, these other Pokemon, they all have a shiny chance, right? So if you do it more and you despawn more, you also spawn more that could potentially be shiny. Even if it's not a Roaring Moon. The slower version of spawning them in and taking them out from the screen is at least a little bit easier on my head too. Like it's not gonna make me it's not gonna make me nauseous too much compared to just running in circles. I tried to shiny hunt Iron Thorns, it's hard. Iron Thorns, yeah, that sounds... I mean, I'm not sure, I, I genuinely feel like if there are not a lot of other Pokemon spawning in, like here, you might have a good chance. It really depends on which sandwich you use, Iron Thorns. I'm not really sure which, the, which typing Iron Thorns has. I mean, eventually I will come back to to Roaring Moon. Eventually I will try it again. After this... A reset right here that we will probably have in around 12 minutes. We will try to figure out a different Pokemon. We still have a couple of other ancient Pokemon, the Amoongus. I feel like the Amoongus might be a fun Pokemon to try to get because it is just a funny looking Pokemon. Do you have Mewtwo or Rayquaza? I do have Mewtwo when it comes to Pokemon Go. I actually caught a Shadow Mewtwo yesterday in Pokemon Go by defeating Giovanni.
Now we just have zero spawns. Like nothing is spawning except of the dogs right there again. He is electric and rock. Um, I don't know a lot of electric Pokemon that spawn in this area, so maybe, maybe, maybe try to create a sandwich with level three sparkling power and encounter power for electric. What other electric Pokemon would be spawning there except of Pommy? Yeah, I'm generally not sure what's the better, better method right here. To run around in circles and despawn loads of Pokemon. And have a Roaring Moon spawn in every here and there. Or to try to single out the spawns and have either Roaring Moon or Swilo spawn. But it generally... It generally doesn't feel like it makes too much of a difference. So I would rather run around... And see a lot of Pokemon because all of the Pokemon that I see have a chance of being shiny. Like each Gibble in this group right here has it. It's just about to say the lighting was very, very interesting on this one. Uh, every Gibble has a chance of being shiny, so I would rather probably just take potentially a different shiny. I'm not sure though. I think even if I would get a, even if I would get a Gibble or if I would get a, a dog shiny, a ghost dog, a Swilus, I don't know, I would probably reset. Like, I really want, well, maybe not reset, maybe not reset, I don't know yet. Okay, I have to be honest, right now I would take any shiny. Finds the shiny dog. Uh, two groups of dogs. Maybe I spawn them out a little bit slower and potentially get some roaring moons on the screen. Yeah, that worked. Not really getting a shiny one though. Just despawning them a little bit slower. Not too quick, not too quick. Ancient Salamence is Roaring Moon. Oh man. What should be a shiny pomo? Shiny pomo is not what I'm going for, no. I mean, I would genuinely take a shiny pomo, but we don't even have the boost for electric or fighting. Lots of Swilus. The thing is, it could either be a Swilus or it could be a Roaring Moon. And to see how many Swilus I am spawning in, it's just like, come on. Come on, Roaring Moon. Don't be shy. Be a Roaring Moon. Swilus, don't be shy. Be a Roaring Moon. Stop following me like that, please. I did nothing. I did nothing to you.
Okay, we're gonna slowly despawn this group. Slowly despawn it. In hopes of getting a lot of single spawns. Yeah, actually did happen. Did happen. We actually got a lot of single spawns. So maybe just running in circles. So maybe a combination of both. You despawn a lot of them at once. You know, get potential roaring moons right here. There's one. But also get these five groups. And as soon as you have a few five groups, you're just going to slowly despawn them. Slowly despawn them one by one. And then it's going to be another bigger wave of single Pokemon spawning in. So we're going to slowly despawn the dog right there. And we should have a bigger wave of single Pokemon spawning. It's all Swilus though. It's all Swilus though. That's great. I hate it when a Roaring Moon is just popping up on my screen. And then immediately disappearing. Because I'm so afraid that that's going to happen with a shiny one. I see a shiny one for a second. It disappears. Oops. Finally I found the Shiren Iron Thorns. That was... Wasn't that quick? Okay, no, I'm gonna leave. What game should I buy? Scarlet or Violet? I don't know the difference. Um, If you like the more futuristic Paradox Pokemon... At the end of the day, personally, just look at the Legendary and pick whichever Legendary you like more. Because the Paradox Pokemon and all the other Pokemon, they're somewhat... Somewhat... Limited to the version If you have a friend who has the other game you can always just spawn into their game into their world and get all the paradox Pokemon from their game and if you have Access to online in general you can do terror rates for all the Pokemon that are kind of version exclusive So you can get all the version exclusives by by just playing and being online and I guess the only difference really is which Legendary you're gonna catch at the end <laughs> Okay Five more minutes Five more minutes to get that roaring moon I prefer Scarlet I prefer Violet <laughs> different opinions in the game uh, in the chat I generally, I don't know, I still don't prefer any of them. When I was seeing the games for the first time, I preferred Violet. Um, but I got Scarlet because we wanted to have both games and Holly was already getting Scarlet. So, I just, I was getting Violet, so I got Scarlet and I genuinely, it, it, both games are absolutely fantastic. Both games are absolutely fantastic. At the end of the day, they are not too different from one another. Roaring Moon is Ancient Salamence. Would you please pop out a green Ancient Salamence real quick? Just, you know, for five seconds in the last one minute. I would appreciate that. Despawning quite a few of these. <laughs> Espion just randomly jumps through my cave for no good reason. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I don't know why this one just looked a little bit different. I guess the lighting makes some of the Pokemon just look different. Also known as shiny. This one for a moment right there tricked me. I have to be honest. Come on, we have two more minutes. Two more minutes to get it. Stop following me, please. Two more minutes to get the green. Shiny version. And we are engaging into a battle. Whew. I'm shiny hunting iron hands. I hate how there's delayed pop up on texture color. Yes. Oh man. Iron hands? It looks like it's asleep. It looks like it's like in standby mode sometimes when the colors are not popping in. It looks so shiny. It looks just all silver. And yes, I have to agree. Iron Hands was giving me so many jump scares already that it would be a shiny. But it actually wasn't. Oh man, we saw... Oh man, oh man. I think the... Oh, 20, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We still have time. We still have time to get that one shiny. We still have the time. Enough time. That is enough time to spawn in one shiny. Come on, Roaring Moon. Where are you at? Where's my green Roaring Moon? There's no Roaring Moon at all. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I think that's it. I think we are done. Yeah, we're done. Whew. Didn't get the Roy Moon. Not yet. We did, uh, how many resets now? Three, I think three. So we are shiny hunting Roy Moon for one and a half hours now. We're not lucky with that. After getting three, I have to repeat that, three Flutter mains very, very quickly. So that is definitely a little bit more tough right here. Um... Can you play Pokemon Scarlet offline? Yes, you can. Yes, you absolutely can. I am going for... Let me see. Let me see. Which other Pokemon do we have that we could shiny hunt for? I want to shiny hunt for Paradox Pokemon. What if I did uh, Dark? What if I did Dark for the shiny Amoongus? And then, if we find the Shiny Moongus, I can still go back into the cave and try to find uh, Roaring Moon with the remaining time. I feel like uh, that would be fine. So right now, we're gonna go for... Wait, wait. Got it. Change that. Oops. And we're gonna hunt for the big blue mushroom. Ancient Amoongus, known as Brun Bo Brute Bonnet. Sounds like a plan. All right, that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go for a dark sandwich right now. We're gonna go into create creative mode, and we're gonna go for, as always, tomato, onion, green pepper, and the hamburger. And besides that, for dark, we need oh yeah, the smoked fillet two times. Gonna go for two random um, herba mystica, and that should be it. I'm gonna do it quick. We're gonna make a quick sandwich right now. Because I just want to get in. I just want to shiny hunt. 
There we go. Looks good to me. Gonna go for the onion next. Pepper next. Okay, for some reason, this is a little bit more difficult right now. These pieces right here, they are just... Ah, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. That is... One good-looking sandwich right here. This is what I call a grizzly original. <laughs> Alright, so we have our shiny chances boosted with this for the dark type. Good luck, homie. Thank you so much. Uh, starting a new sandwich here, too. Alright, let's go. Good luck to you. If you are shiny hunting, if you are watching the stream while you are shiny hunting yourself, I hope you have all the best luck in the world as well. And we currently switched from Roaring Moon, since we have done that for one and a half hours without any luck because the spawn rates are a little bit smaller. We have switched to Brute Bonnet, which is Ancient Among Us with the Encounter and Sparkling Power Dark. Gonna call back our squad right here. I'm gonna put Skeledurge into the first position and we're gonna go hunt. I'm not completely sure where we encounter the um, Amoongus, but I think when I was going into the third uh, research station and up between the second and the third research station, we should be able to find that. Right? I think anyone wants to get them shiny by themselves. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, if you find the, if you trade a shiny, that's always nice. But having caught the shiny yourself is just so different. It's just absolutely amazing. Okay, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Oh, brute bonnet. The ancient Amoongus seems to be the only Pokemon that is spawning here, and this is so wildly different from how we were just shiny hunting Roaring Moon. Like, we will see so many ancient Amoonguses right here. Okay, I'm gonna stay in this area. If you're giving me different Pokemon, I'm gonna stay in this area. Do we have the chance to see Amoongus, the Brute Bonnet, in the cave? Okay, we are not speedrunning. If we are speedrunning, we might miss it. This is going to spawn in so many of these Pokemon that I am sure, and only of these Pokemon that I am sure that with the one in one... Th oh, there's... Is, what is that cave? What is that cave? Maybe I have been in here since there's nothing in here. Um, yeah, so since it's just... The Brute Bonnet that is uh, spawning right here. One in 1,000. We might be able to see 1,000 within 30 minutes. So with that being said, we might have hit the full odds of 1 in 1,024 while we are roaming around with one sandwich. I'm trying to stay clear from all areas that give me a new Pokemon. Because, again, if we can spawn only one specific Pokemon, it's gonna be the best odds for us to actually find the shiny one. So many of them. So, so many of them. I generally like this area, but I also want to try to go into the cave. Look at all of them. Even the Brute Bonnet, which is the Ancient Amoongus. I don't know. I 
I thought I, I wouldn't like it too much. Because, I don't know, Amoongus is just not a super special Pokemon. Kind of like a uh, Hayama. But just seeing them, again, they are growing on me. The more you play the game, the more you see these Pokemon. At least for me that's the case, the more they grow on you. And the more you start to appreciate and like all of them. Okay, we're gonna go and do one circle in front of the research station and we're gonna take a look into the cave. Because I'm not completely sure what is spawning in the cave. But if it's... Nope, 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 nope. I am not dealing with the dinos again. I am not dealing with the dinos. We did that with Roaring Moon. I am good. We're gonna stay outside. We're gonna stay outside the cave and we're gonna stay... Basically on this level. I don't want to have the bishops. All I want to do is... I, all I want to see is a purple ancient Amoongus. And I'm confident in this. I'm very very confident in seeing one. Among Us? Yes. I'm gonna call it Brute. We're gonna call it Brute. Brute Bonnet. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Uh, is the T at the end silent? Is it not? Is it Brute Bonnet? Brute Bonnet? What is it called? Oh, this seems to be a nice spawn spot too. Going up here. Yeah, that definitely seems like a really good spawn spot for them. Oh, there was a different Pokemon spawning. So maybe I'm just gonna jump down. Right on top of the Pokeball. Look at all of them. This is such a different experience. If you can really single out one specific Pokemon and you try to get that one specific Pokemon in Shiny. It's just such a different experience. If you can just look around and you just have to be lucky enough to get one in 1024, which is Shiny. Compared to being in that cave trying to get that roaring moon that spawns so rarely i feel like it has a lower spawn rate than the other pokemon too and then obviously to get that one in shiny that specific pokemon where are you from if you're asking me because i have an accent it is a german accent germany german Look at these cute little mushrooms. I like them. I don't have anything against them. Not my favorite Pokemon. Definitely still not my favorite Pokemon. But I like them. All red, all red, all red. Try to auto battle them five every 30 seconds. What would, what would uh, change if I would try to auto battle them every few seconds? I feel like nothing would change, right? It might like spawn in more, yes, but if I just walk around I feel like I'm way faster. You see how many it spawns in every every time I keep walking? I feel like you can't really defeat them this quickly. 
compared to just walking around and make them spawn in front of you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it hiding right here? No. <laughs> uh, the shiny is hiding from me. But I'm actually not really demotivated with this one. Because with this rate of the brute bonnet spawning, nah, we are about to we are bound to find the shiny one soon. Roy moon spawns are slow. I spent one and a half hours and saw roughly 100 to 150. I mean, I guess I saw a little bit more. I was spending one and a half hours just now trying to shiny hunt that one. Not, not really sure. Maybe it was only 200, yeah. But yeah, they are definitely spawning slower because they also have Swilo spawning in there, which I feel uh, like it has. A higher spawn rate, for sure. <laughs> Man, so many. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's not too difficult to hear that I am from Germany. I get to uh, hear that quite often. And it's fine. Okay, all right. I am ready for a shiny now. I know I said I kind of like the Amoongus, but at the same time, it's kind of time for a shiny. Isn't it? Maybe I should have zoomed out of the camera earlier. I just did that and I'm like, why didn't I do that with Roaring Moon? Definitely when you're shiny hunting, zoom out with your camera when you are on the legendary because you have a wider angle which will allow you to see a few more Pokemon I don't know why I did not do that before where is the purple one This one is sleeping. Oh, I woke it up. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to wake you up. They're sleeping. They're tired of being normal ones. They're tired of not being shiny. Please show me where Greninja is. Uh, I genuinely don't know. Can you find Greninja in this game? I'm not sure. You probably... There are a few Pokemon in this game that you can only get by transferring them from other games. Via Pokemon Home, for example. Um, but I am not sure if you can find Greninja yourself in this game. Okay, we're gonna go up here. I know that up there, there was a, a different spawn as well, like different Pokemon spawning in as well. But not all of the time. No? What's with that sleepy one, no? Where is that purple looking mushroom? I never really read into the story of Amoongus, but it looks like a Pokeball when you look from like the sky. Is there any like specific story behind the Amoongus? Why it like decided to have that or well, not decided, but like why it evolved into that kind of shape to look literally exactly like a Pokeball. 
the thing is, it might just be a coincidence because if you look at Pokemon Arceus, that is not. I, I don't think that Pokemon Legends Arceus is playing too far away in the past. And they just invented Pokeballs back then in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And the Moongus wasn't necessarily around then. So maybe Amoongus was already a thing and Pokeballs are just coincidental when it comes to the looks. I don't know. I think I've heard that Scarlet and Violet will be connected to home during March, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, from what I have heard from official sources is that it will happen in Spring 2023. Spring 2023 is still... Far away, but it could be earlier than March. I'm super excited for it because I definitely want to maybe shiny hunt a little bit more in Pokemon Legends Arceus and I kind of want to have like all of my shinies in Pokemon Home, all of my shinies in one place and be able to access them whenever I want to and like all the shinies that we are catching right now in Scarlet and Violet, we can't really access them in for example Pokemon Arceus. And a lot of Pokemon that I got in Legend Arceus, I can't really access them right here in Scarlet and Violet. And I'm really, really excited to be able to do that. I found my Shiny Iron Hands. Good luck to you, mate. That is insane. Shiny Iron Hands is just such a cool Pokemon. Because uh, Iron Hands is just a really, really strong Pokemon when it comes to the 5-star rates that will help you give, uh, get the Herbal Mystica that you need. So, having a shiny one... Like, I'm bringing my... Iron Hands that I got from uh, Pokemon Scarlet into the rates quite frequently. I still use a better typing if I have a better typing. But if I don't have a, a good typing, because currently I only have like 6 Pokemon at level 100. If I don't have a better typing, I bring my Iron Hands, which is just really strong. And I absolutely love to see in these Terror Raids when someone is having a Shiny. Once I was going into a Terror Raid with a, I think, Grass type or Bug type or Ice type or Steel type Pokemon. I don't really remember. But I all I know is that Fire typing uh, was really, really strong against that. And we had three Skeledurge and one uh, Seroledge. And one of the Seledurge, um, yeah, one of the um, Skeledurges was pink. So we sent our Skeledurges out and one of the players was shiny hunting for uh, the full Coco. And was just showing it off. And that was super cool to see. And it's super cool to see. Shinies are definitely um, a little bit more frequent to obtain a little bit more easier to obtain in these games but it's still absolutely cool to see someone else coming into one of these raids sending out a shiny pokemon that's cool and i wouldn't even say that it's way easier to obtain when it comes to the starters because you can only obtain them by hatching eggs and that's still quite a uh, difficult or not difficult but time intense process how much time have we been almost 20 minutes already okay let's see down here again I mean, they spawn in. So I would really, really like to see like a number. Would really, really know like how many of these Pokemon are actually spawning and how many we can shiny check in these 30 minutes. Because it might not necessarily be 1000, right? Maybe it's 250. Maybe it's even a little bit more than 250. But it kind of like really gives you very, very good chances. Especially. Once you have unlocked the shiny charm, once you have filled the Pokedex. 
it's gonna be really really fun to use these uh, shiny hunting strategies. Especially the one with the sandwiches. It's just so much fun to see the same Pokemon. Like when I when I think of an outbreak, that's what I'm thinking of. Like even the massive mass outbreaks they have here in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, they're cool, I have to agree. But compared to just having this on screen, where you only see one specific Pokemon, this is an outbreak. This is what I would call an outbreak. And we got a little bit of a teaser what, you know, outbreaks could be in Pokemon Arceus. And it was already funny and, like, was already super cool because everyone, everyone was saying, oh, it's an outbreak. And you only see, like, four Pokemon. How kind of, like, how much that is not an outbreak with having, like, four Pokemon popping up. And I always felt like, as soon as I was playing Scarlet, I was looking into Outbreaks, and I feel like, yes, now we see, what, 10 to 20 different Pokemon? Not different Pokemon, but Pokemon of the same type in these Outbreaks. That feels more like an Outbreak. But even that is nothing compared to what we are seeing here. Yes, we still only see around 10 Pokemon at the same time on screen, but just walking around and having them spawn in the way they do, that's crazy. That's the way outbreaks are supposed to be. Um, let me read the chat for a moment. I love him and he's so strong. Always love the Hariyama design. Yeah, it's it's really, really cool. I genuinely, when I saw him the first time, um, Iron Hands, I wasn't paying too much attention to that character because there were just other characters that I felt like were cooler or were piquing my interest a little bit more but iron hands hands down is a really cool pokemon and having that in shiny wow wow wow, wow. i'm a little bit jealous right here um can i catch a shiny in a raid neo ray the king um yes you actually can and you will immediately see that it's a shiny like while you're fighting in the raid you will already see that it's a shiny and if you're doing solo raids, if you're going into a raid by yourself on your map and you see it's a shiny, you can always exit out of the raid, invite three friends and then go back into the, into the raid. And it will still be a shiny and your three friends will all get the shiny. So if you're doing single raids and you find the shiny, make sure to invite friends. You can literally give them shinies for free. And if you have friends, tell them. Tell them that if they find a shiny and they are in single raids, to just exit out of that raid and invite you. So you can get the shiny too. And lots of um, possibilities and options that you have to get shinies in this game. I have a theory. In the other door in this thing where you go in zone zero... It's maybe the beginning of the DLC because they say this door can't be opened yet. I actually haven't seen that door yet, but that could definitely be the content or the entry point for the DLC, yeah? Sounds like it. Super excited for the DLC. Is there any information on when the DLC will come to the game? When we will have the chance to get that? Isn't, oh wait, isn't Ancient Suicune in Scarlet and Violet? That is, oh, 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 that is such a cool Pokemon. Uh, I think the future form for Scarlet will be, uh, for Violet will be Verizon. Which is also a really cool Pokemon, but hands down Suicune. Uh, better, that's better, in my opinion. Suicune and, like, the, the trio, the dog trio. That's hard to beat. That's very, very difficult to beat. I'm doing the Masuda method. I still didn't get a, a shiny, uh, not a shiny, I still didn't get a, a ditto from a different region. 
to help me perform the Misuda method, Misudo, Misuda, Misuda method. Um, but I'm also not too worried about breeding right now. Like I will eventually try to shiny hunt the starters. Like the starters are always absolutely fantastic to have in shiny, and therefore I will need that ditto, and I will need to do the egg hatching methods. But it's just not necessarily on the top of my to-do list right now because this shiny hunting method that we are doing right here, right now, I feel like it's so much more fun. It genuinely is fun to shiny hunt. You run around, you look at the same Pokemon over and over again, and at some point you're gonna see a different one. And I mean... Hatching the eggs, you have somewhat of a similar experience. As soon as you see the shiny one, it's just absolutely fantastic, yes. But it can be from time to time, if you have to do it for a couple of hundred times, it can be a little bit more boring to see the animation where the hatch eggs, uh, the, the hatch eggs, the eggs hatch over and over again. Compared to here, you can just roam around, you enjoy your time. And you hope to find the shiny at some point. I'm gonna go up here. Um, there's also a book in the school library. Um, shows unknown Pokemon which could possibly be for the DLC. Oh really? I have to be honest. I only went into the school, into the university, into the academy when I had to because of the story. I never went into the university to like look at the books, I never took any of the classes. Everything is still at like, I think you can level them up or something or my class is one, the first class, because I just haven't done them. I don't know if I should do that. Is is it increasing something increasing something in the game if you're actually doing all the like school lessons? I don't think so, right? Okay, Ancient Amoongus. I was very confident because there's such a high spawn rate to get you in shiny. But right now you're letting me down. Three minutes left on the timer. Three minutes on the clock. You're letting me down right here. Come on, Ancient Amoongus. Is Brute Bonnet. Where are you? Where is that purple little mushroom? <laughs> is it better to run? Or am I not giving it... I feel like I'm not giving it enough time to reload in a couple of Pokemon. Like when I run, I see one Pokemon here, one Pokemon there. But if I just walk a little bit slower... Like see, I'm giving it more time to load in a couple of Pokemon. See that? Way, way more. Ah oh, man, we have like one minute on the clock. If there's any time for a purple Amoongus to pop up, then it's right now. Hmm. Lots and lots of them are everywhere. Outbreak hunting is way more interactive and fun. Yeah, that's what I say. Like, again, this is not even an outbreak, but I totally agree. Just being able to be a little bit more proactive about things instead of having to hatch Pokemon. My daughter was actually trying to combine the normal outbreak method where you have the outbreaks and you open up a picnic com uh, combined with the Masuda 
method where you have to hatch eggs. So she was going into that outbreak, she was putting up a picnic, she was resetting the Pokemon after defeating 60 of them, and then just running around in circle a little bit to check all the Pokemon, and then setting up the next um, picnic, just as you do it, but also with eggs, right? And she was basically farming eggs before that, just to have a lot of eggs in the inventory, and then just, you know, running around hatching all these eggs. Was going for basically two shinies in one. But she's a little bit unlucky sometimes. Had, had the eggs that we're hatching were not giving her the shiny that she was looking for. And the outbreak was also not necessarily giving her the shiny that she was wanting. Okay, we have exactly one minute, 50 seconds right here. And then we're gonna go and reset the game because again another 30 minutes have been passed with the sandwich, the boosted typing right here without finding a shiny. Not here, not here, not here, not here, I'm running. Come on, I'm zooming. Let's wait, let's give it time, let's give it time, let's not run, let's not run, give it time to have some Pokemon load in. And I think the time is about to be up. There we go. Whew. All right, let's jump in again and let's start with the sandwich making again. <clears throat> Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, someone did a comparison video and running the same route, he spawned more riding without sprint than with due to spawn delays. All right, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel this, I feel the exact same way. If you are running, you're not giving the game enough time to actually spawn in the Pokemon. So therefore... Walking or being on Coridon or Miraidon and just casually walking up and down the same routes is a little bit more e efficient. This one is fa How are these Pokemon defeated? I didn't find... I didn't find the shine. Did I save at some point? Wait a minute. How are they defeated? You found the shiny Roaring Moon? Roaring Moon? Roaring Moon? That, is, that sounds amazing. I was trying to hunt that for over an hour earlier. Okay, I need to see my ingredients. Why are my Pokemon defeated? Oh, no, wait, wait. One of these? What else do we need? I can luckily remember everything. Hamburger. We are going for um, Dark. So what we need for Dark was... Oh, yeah, I remember. Two of these. And now... I don't... Why are my Pokemon defeated? I'm so confused. Spooky Soft, nice to see you. I am back. I uh, left to call my friend while I hatched Shine Rock Ruff. Found one in 5x and then another 15x later. That is insane luck. We're gonna put on the onions on the on this side, the peppers, as always. With the you know tasty and grizzly special, you always get three layers of sandwich. You will work your way through that sandwich with different flavors each bite. Perfect. Just perfect. Um, about the Pokemon that are possible for the... Oh, you can't find a picture about the Pokemon that are possible for the DLC. Yeah, I'm really curious to see that. I'm really curious to see which Pokemon will come in. 
All right. Another tasty Grizzly original is coming through right now. And hopefully it is the three star dark type and counter and sparking power sandwich. Very nice. There you go. Let me see if my Pokemon are still... Like, why are they... Now they are not defeated anymore. So if you have a picnic and you eat your fruit, your Pokemon will also heal. I feel like that's the case. Because my Pokemon, right now, I was very confused why, but they were definitely, definitely injured. I found my Spigadito in 15x2. I don't know why my luck is with this X. With this, what? I don't know what my luck is with these eggs. Um, Spookies of that is insane. My daughter has been shiny hunting that Sprigadito for so long. Don't tell her. <laughs> okay, let's see. Attempt number two. We are not running. We are not running. As I said, and as uh, Vexer in the chat said, if you are walking a little bit slower, not necessarily dashing with Koridon, or me right on you will give the Pokemon a little bit more time to spawn in and therefore see more Pokemon and that increases the chance of seeing a shiny of course as well I really hope and that's just like a, a hope right here I really hope that we will find the shiny Amoongus the Brute Bonnet Really really quickly now Because if we can find it right away, we will still have time on the sandwich timer, right? That will give us a chance to To go back to Roaring Moon Because I still haven't given up on Roaring Moon And I will not give up on Roaring Moon Okay, okay, where are they? Where are they? Lots of the little mushrooms are spawning right here. But we don't want the red one. We don't want the red one. I know the red ones is what we are getting. But we don't want the red one. If it's not a shiny, we don't want it. Very simple rule. Um, asking everyone, what is your favorite Pokemon in Gen 9? That is a really, really good question. And I don't even know if I could answer it that easily. Like, I would really have to sit down and look at all the Pokemon and just think of it. I genuinely... Uh, I think I would have answered that with Koridon right away if Koridon wouldn't have these wheels. Like, Koridon is a great design, and I do like dinosaurs, I do like dragon-type uh, Pokemon. Just like, creatures that look absolutely... ...fantastic. And I think Koridon definitely is one of these legendaries that look looks absolutely great. But at the same time, the wheels are kind of like... They're fine. They're not, they not destroying the design of Koridon. But I just don't necessarily like them. Especially since Koridon never uses the wheels, right? Miradon on the other side, absolutely fantastic Pokemon too. Does use the wheels, has these wheels. It's kind of like having jet engines. Um, really cool Pokemon too. But I'm not sure if they would be my, my favorite Pokemon of this generation. Come on, don't be shy, be shiny. Exactly. Don't be shy. Be shiny. Oh, I read a different... Uh, I read a comment. Um, I think today or yesterday that I was... Uh, wanting to share with you guys. Um, someone said with the Pokemon Violet Paradox Pokemon, all of them are basically machines. Right? All of them are, yes, futuristic with the machines. 
But that throws in one big question. Will there be no Pokemon in the future? Because that makes it seem like all the Pokemon in the future, they kind of like faced extin extinction. There is no Pokemon around and humans were kind of like creating robot Pokemon. Or maybe a smart Pokemon like Mewtwo, for example, is extremely smart. Mewtwo could have potentially created this kind of like robotic Pokemon universe. Where it's kind of like Terminator. All the like humans might be destroyed and or humanity might be enslaved under these terrifying metallic robotic Pokemon. But since the time machine is just like sucking in a few I don't want to spoil anything for everyone. So you guys, if you haven't played through the story yet and you don't want to get spoiled. Make sure to maybe skip the next few seconds or pause the next few seconds and then just skip ahead. But the time machine is just sucking in random Pokemon, right? Into Pokeballs that will be carried over into this timeline. And all they were able to, to catch in the future were these metallic robotic Pokemon. There was not a single normal Pokemon. Like let's just say organic Pokemon like it is with the ancient forms of Pokemon. So it almost feels like there are no real, quote-unquote, real Pokemon in the future. Which hopefully is just not the case. And I would assume that there is still like a, like a life form inside the Iron Pokemon, the Paradox Pokemon. But yeah, it's uh... It's very, very dominant that there is no Pokemon that is actually just a Pokemon. Like, it is with Scarlet and Violet where they were coming from the past. And you just see different forms of Pokemon. Now, with the future, you do see different forms, but they are all kind of like robots. Even the way they, that they are, like, moving and everything. If you look into the Pokedex... They're super calm because they're just robots. There's not a lot of movement with, within robots. But obviously with the Paradox Pokemon from Scarlet, just normal Pokemon, different form. A lot of movement in the Pokedex. Or the AI took over and that's what I mean. That's what I mean. What if there's... Like, something created these Pokemon and now the AI and all these Pokemon are kind of like... Taking over the world. Seems very, very scary to think about what happens in the future of Pokemon. And I really hope that's just like kind of a theory. Obviously, nobody knows where... And then what point in time of the future these Pokemon are coming from. And maybe this is just like a somewhat of a mistake. But yeah, it makes it makes me question what happened to the normal Pokemon in the future. I don't want a future without real Pokemon. I mean, you still get the super cool iron Pokemon, right? Oh, oh, look at it. That is an impressive shiny. <laughs> that looks genuinely so dope. I wasn't even expecting it to come in that quick, but here it is. Oh, here we are! And I like that the the other brute bonnets are just running around in the background. All right, we're gonna put it to sleep right here, making it a little bit more easy to catch it, and then we're gonna throw a pokeball right away. Not damaging it at all. I could have saved in front of it. Kind of forgot to save. But we we got this. We got this. I want to throw... Do we have a matching Pokeball? Since it is a... It's, 
it's basically this one, right? Gotta throw this one. We gotta use the great balls to catch it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's still fast asleep. Ah, oh, come on! Just stay in the ball. It cannot defeat itself, can it? I'm really not sure if it could. I'm really scared right now. We're gonna save it. I'm gonna save. I am gonna save. I am way too scared that it has a move that can defeat itself. Oops, okay, never mind. Without putting it to sleep. We gotta use a great ball. We got I can't use an ultra ball. We gotta use a ball that matches the Pokemon. Um let's try to put it to sleep again. And we still have time on the timer to potentially find a uh, roaring moon. Gotta use the great ball to match it, but it is not staying in the ball. Not that easy. At least. <sighs> Gotta use that great ball to match the shiny Brute Bonnet. Right here we have it. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Really, really excited about it. It's grass and dark. So now I will probably bring that to level 102 and be able to do raids that are, for example, um, water. All right, let's. It's still here. It's in. It's in our team. Do I save? I'm gonna save the game. It is what I wanted. It is what I wanted. We gonna. Um, wait, I have to switch out the frames real quick. So the last one. Will be last, and we're gonna go back and hunt for that roaring moon since we still have a little bit of time left. How much time do we have left? 15 minutes basically. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. We are taking the luck into the cave. Let's go. Chancy, I don't want to see you. Okay, okay, lots of Pokemon that I don't really... It's an Umbreon, okay, okay. I mean, we are spawning Dark-type Pokemon. Alright, back to Roaring Moon. I've never given up on you, Roaring Moon. And I never will. Oh, look at these sneezes. Oh, no. And of course, why are there so many... Okay, we gotta despawn them slowly. Gotta despawn them slowly to have different spawns coming in. There was one. Oh man, there are so many. Umbreon. Okay, I'm not gonna do a slow. I'm not gonna do the slow despawning right now. I just want to run around. I want to see what we can get. Despawning them all at once. Mm, guys, don't spawn right there. Oh man, oh man, oh man. It really is difficult to spawn these roaring moons in here. And I didn't, oh no, I didn't even think of that. Swilos is also a dark type Pokemon. So now we're not only gonna see Swilos, we're also gonna see the, oh, Sneasel. 
So we we're gonna see so many Pokemon, but not Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is gonna be such a rare find. And there we have one. Imagine between all these Pokemon there's a shiny Roaring Moon at some point. I doubt it. I doubt that that's gonna happen. But if we can find a second shiny, no matter what, I would be happy. Because right now we've already found what we want. We already found what we were coming for. With the sandwich. We found the Brut Bonnet. We now just have a little bit of an additional shiny hunting time. With the time that we have left on the sandwich. This is crazy. Okay, if you're trying to shiny hunt the Roaring Moon, definitely make sure to go for the Dragon type. Because I'm literally spawning zero. Well, at least we have some Sneasels. Might potentially see a pink Sneasel or even a blue Umbreon. Didn't even know that Umbreons are being spawned that frequently in this... Well, not necessarily frequently, but being spawned in that cave at all. Maybe this cave has all of the evolutions, because we saw Vaporeon over there. I already saw Espeon. I already saw Umbreon. It really just depends on which sandwich you have. And you might be able to see all of the evolutions in that cave. By the way, Swilus are Dragon and Dark type. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant earlier. Like, I didn't even think. I was thinking, okay, Swilus would pop up when it comes to the Dragon type spawns. But I didn't even think of it popping up when we have Dark type, because obviously it's Dark type too. Two Roaring Moons right here. It's just two, it's just two, I know, but you know. Every Roaring Moon that we see counts. Every Roaring Moon that we see could be a shiny Roaring Moon. So we take it. Every Roaring Moon, every single Roaring Moon that we see counts. I just don't want to go too close to the to the water that is back there, to the little waterfall. Because I feel like as soon as I'm there, it's spawning in so many Pokemon that have nothing to do with the boosted spawn rates that we have. There's not a single Pokemon on the map. Except of the ghost type dogs right there. Man, these ghost type dogs. Roaring Moon, welcome, welcome, welcome. Palmy, Pommel. Okay, we're gonna go over there. We gotta... We have to force some spawns. Where are all the spawns? Okay, Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon, Roaring Moon. Every Roaring Moon counts, okay? The dogs will never leave. No, the dogs will never leave. They are ghost type, but they will be here when you when you are shiny hunting dragon types. They will be here when you are shiny hunting dark types. They will always be here. They are here to, you know, just keep you company. Roaring Moon. I mean, that should be a really, really good, like, if you're really wanting to, this should be a really, really good place to get a Sneasel at some point, too. Because there are a bunch of Sneasel spawns. And even the Umbreon, I've seen so many Umbreons now. That's not too bad, either. I think, overall, if you have a Dark-type boost, 
if you don't really care about the Pokemon that you will get in Shiny, come into this cave. There are a lot of cool Pokemon that could potentially be Shiny. Like the Sneasel in Shiny looks super cool. Completely pink. Roaring Moon right there, Roaring Moon right here. And we have a Grey Bart right in front of us. No, oh, almost ran into that Roaring Moon. I genuinely wouldn't even be too upset if I would get a shiny Umbreon. Shiny Umbreon is pretty cool. The gold rings that the shiny Umbreon is having on the on its tails and body, they are basically turning blue. Shiny Umbreon would be beautiful. Yeah, I agree, I agree, I agree. I was literally just saying that. I wouldn't be too mad to have that. And honestly, I wouldn't be too mad to get any shiny because we already saved like this sandwich that we are on right now as soon as it runs out in 10 minutes. It's gonna be gone. I am not resetting the game because there's no point in resetting the game. Because I already saved because I got the shiny Brut Bonnet. I got one of the shinies that I wanted. So if we get an additional shiny right here, that would just be an additional shiny to that sandwich that we have been eating. So I literally take it. Whatever it is, I take it. Whatever Pokemon pops up in Shiny, I appreciate it a lot. Did you hear that? Roaring Moon, did she? Roaring Moon, R Roaring Moon, did she hear that? I really appreciate you in Shiny. It's not gonna be a Roaring Moon. Out of the, I don't know, out of 50 Pokemon that spawn in, spawn in here right now, one of them is a Roaring Moon. Which, like, come on. That's not how it should be. There's an Umbreon between between the two. Do I even have an Umbreon? Oh yeah, I do. One Umbreon between two Roaring Moons. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nothing here. Gonna despawn, gonna despawn. Ah, uh, Umbreon not shiny. Roaring Moon's not shiny. Gonna run over here and gonna give the Pokemon some time to spawn. Ah, uh, not the water spawn. Have to stay away from the water. Shiny Swilus would be good too. Um, I mentioned that before when I was hunting for a Roaring Moon. I am not really too interested in the Swilus. I am not really too interested in the Swilus because I have plenty of them in Pokemon Go and I can transfer them as soon as we have the ability to transfer Pokemon with Pokemon via Pokemon Home. I will be able to transfer them from Pokemon Go. And I know a lot of people say that Pokemon Go Shinies don't count because they are easier to obtain. But I genuinely don't think so. I think they count just as much. I love all of my Shinies. No matter which game I I caught them from. Shinies are overall getting more accessible. And as long as it's not a hacked Shiny. And as long as I caught it. I am excited about the shiny. But obviously if I already have 10 Spylus or 10 Dinos on Pokemon Go, I am not necessarily looking forward to get a shiny Spylus in Pokemon Scarlet. They are just other Pokemon that I would prefer so much more like Roaring Moon. 
Not that it's a bad shiny. Well, I don't really like the green on it. I, it's not my favorite shiny. I would take it. I would take it. It's not like I wouldn't take it. As I said, every shiny that we are finding right now is just a bonus shiny in the sandwich that is only having five more minutes left on the clock. Come on, Roaring Moon. At some point you gotta be green, you know it. You and I both. You and I both know it. At some point you gotta be green. Can't be not green all of the time. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Another Roaring Moon spawn. I appreciate it. Would appreciate it even more if it was a green one. Oh, an Espion. There we go. Um, I'm a new supper. I don't know when or if he has a time for this. Um, I usually stream at the at the s s very very similar times at the same times. I would say. Um, so basically, today I start streaming a little bit later than I usually do, but that is basically the time that I stream. And I don't have a specific schedule when it comes to days. I usually just stream whenever I, I get the chance to, whenever I feel like I can take the time to stream. Um, but yeah, around this time that I'm streaming right now, or let's just say five hours ago. Five hours ago is usually the time that I want to start streaming. As I said, today I started an hour and a half later. But that's roughly the time frame that I usually stream at. Okay, these Roaring Moons are just not the color that I need them to be. Man, I really, really like to see several, several Roaring Moons on the screen at the same time. I don't know. It gives me a feeling of maybe one of them will be shiny one day. Maybe one of them. If there's just one that's always just like kind of sad. To just see one running around. But at the same time, if this one would be shiny, I would take it. Oh, I would take it. Come on, Roaring Moon. Another one. There's one literally stuck up there. It's not the shiny one. That's the most difficult part about this. Because sometimes you can have these Pokemon stuck in the wall like that. And Holly, my daughter, who was hunting for the Iron Valiant, was seeing one in the wall. And it spawns them in the wall here and there. It's not too uncommon. And whenever the Iron... Valent, Valent is uh, spawned in the wall. For some reason, it is getting a little bit more of a metallic look. So for some reason, whenever it is in the wall, it looks more shiny. We literally thought that it was a shiny Pokemon stuck in the wall. And once she caught it, it was just a regular one. We were very excited about it. Just to find out it wasn't a shiny. Oh, oops, 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 oops. The poor Pokemon always stuck into the walls. Yes, I agree. Always kind of like getting sucked into these walls to stay there forever. Until they despawn, basically. But yeah, forever. Wait. 
Did you see that? There was a Roaring Moon right here. Okay, this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Being stuck in the wall is one thing. But being stuck in the underground? That shouldn't be a thing. I'm telling you right now, I saw three shinies earlier. And they were either stuck in the wall or underground. The only Pokemon that should be underground are these dogs right here. But I don't even want the dogs. We have 15 more seconds. Okay, 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 okay. Let's spawn in one last Roaring Moon. One last Roaring Moon. Come on, where, where, where are... No, okay, the timer's up. Timer's up with the sandwich. Gonna have a bunch of other Pokemon spawning right now. There we go, there it is. I already found you in Shiny. Alright, 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 okay. Let's go back to the gate. Whew. He wanted to be a dog too? Yeah, that's crazy, right? That is... That's something. Okay, alright. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What shinies did we catch today? We caught two... We, we actually caught four shinies in total today. Because we caught the Flutter main three times. In shiny. So if we go to our boxes, we can put the... There we go, the Brute Bonnet right here. Uh, let me check this out, check summary. The blue one caught in the Great Ball. I didn't really think of the fitting ball to catch it in when I was catching the Flutter Mains, but we have three. One is level 60, one is, two are level 60 and one is level 59. And they are all different Flutter Mains. So this will be a Pokemon that, will we, that, we, will, that we will give away in future giveaways to the members so you guys can definitely be looking forward to that and i want to say thank you for everyone who was here in the stream but we have been streaming for almost four hours we got two shinies very very happy with them hopefully roaring moon will come home in the next stream we are going to hunt that roaring moon i am not done with roaring moon but what i know i will do is that i will use the dragon sandwich because even with the spiders spawning in left and right it was still way easier. Why is there no music in the background? I want to fly somewhere where we have music in the background. Yes. Um, it was still way easier to find the Roaring Moon in general in these areas when we had the, the Dragon Boost. Alright, there we go. So thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for the stream, Saya. Of course, I really, really appreciate you guys um, sticking around and keeping me company while I am running up and down the same areas to find one different colored Pokemon. And today it was the Fluttermane as well as the Brute Bonnet. Really, really happy about these two shinies. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in the next live stream or the next video or the next short. Sure, I haven't been uploading too many videos yet, but I have a few video ideas and I want to start posting some videos in the future too. So make sure to check out everything, every content that will be posted on the channel. Until next time, I hope to see you all very, very soon. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the end screen. There we go. We're going to do a little spin right here real quick. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Until next time, bye-bye!